عليك لا تقوم الساعة حتى يقاتل المسلمون اليهود فيقتلهم المسلمون فيختبئ اليهود وراء الحجر والشجر فينادي الحجر والشجر قائلا يا مسلم يا عبد الله هذا يهودي خلفي تعالى فاقتل إلا الغرقد فإنه من شجر اليهود and you have no idea how much I hope Allah is going to curse you to the rest of your life. You are Ali. Ali. Hello and welcome everybody. Welcome to our live broadcasting. God bless you. God bless your families. I hope everybody is okay. I hope my sound is crystal clear. Give me a one in the live chat if my sound is okay hopefully everybody can hear me welcome someone is saying sound is good and i am receiving a lot of ones in the live chat so that means we are good to go guys welcome i really missed you Man, it's over one week that we did a live show. It's one week ago already, man. It feels as if it is one year ago, man. What's, you know? Do you have that same feeling, guys, too? I really missed you guys. You know, I'm, uh, I'm a bit busy lately. You know why? Right, guys? You know why? People who have been following our live shows and videos, uh, you know why? Um, busy life, but as long allows us, God allows us to, to continue our work. We will always be here, uh, to provide you some nice teaching and train you in polemics. So I want to ask God to keep guiding us, to keep us strong and healthy to continue our work. Before we start, guys, before we start, I <clears throat> put in community message, a community message one day ago, as you see, and I asked the people to vote for the following topic. What topic do you want us to choose for the next live show? And as you see, the today's topic got the majority vote so this is why i picked today's topic because as you see 34 percent was the biggest vote for today's topic so this is why we picked today's topic but don't worry guys for for the people who voted for other topics we will go through the list don't worry be happy guys okay <laughs> don't worry be happy since the topic of today is the objections against the deity of Christ, let me say the following. Tonight, we are going to witness the most anticipated match in the history of professional wrestling for the heavyweight championship of the world. Are you ready? Wrestling fans, are you ready? For the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, from the capital city of the United States of America, Washington, D.C. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Are you ready? I hope you are ready because I am ready. That means you must be ready, guys. <laughs> are you ready? I am. Let's do this, guys. So we have a Muslim Abdul. Uh, Mr. Pro Gamer says, Oh, 
Rob Christian, you miss the money. Yeah, we are doing this for the money, bro. Don't you know? Look, I just received five. I think this is Australian dollars. Thank you for the donations, guys. Now I'm a rich man. Now I can live for a week from this money, man. We are, it's all about the money. Don't you know? We are doing this like your imams. We are doing this for the money. Money. It's all about the money, bro. We don't care about the truth, Christians, right? We Christians are like the imams. We don't care about the truth. We are doing this for money. Yeah, right. Do you have more excuse, excuses or are you going to call me today, Mr. Pro Gamer? I hope you're going to call me today. My Skype is open, right? I hope you're going to call me today and refute me. I'm rich, yeah, Hafsa for Christ. Do you see? I'm rich, man. I just received $5 and also $3. Thank you, Radical Love. Thank you for your donations. God bless you. Guys, it's all about the money. It's all about the Benjamins. Right? Oh, already a phone call. Wow, that's cool. Let's, let's do this, guys. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello. Welcome. You're live well, on air. Hello. Okay. You're a Muslim, my friend? You Are you a Muslim? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, welcome. Go ahead. I'm going to ask you a question. You're going to ask me. I hope it's not too difficult question, man. Okay, don't worry. Okay. Okay, okay. John twenty seventeen, Jesus said, I am going to my father, your father, my God, your God. Yes. Okay, if he said my God, I'm going to my God, then if he has no God, if he has a God and he's human, or he's God and he has a God, or the verse doesn't make sense, tell me what, 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 what the nature of uh, Jesus. Okay. First of all, since you're, you're a Muslim, you said it right, yeah. and everybody heard you. Guys, we have a fellow Muslim here who uh, actually doesn't believe that uh, Jesus is God. First of all, you mentioned uh, the verse from this, John. This verse contradicts which was, the Trinity. Basically. Wait, wait, That's wait. What First of all, since you quoted this and you, you mentioned that Jesus has a father, do you believe yes. that Allah is father? Father, look, he said... I'm going to my father, your father. He's yes. basically saying... Okay, is Allah, is Allah father? My... Wait, is Allah father? Um, what I believe about this verse doesn't, doesn't matter because I'm it telling you... It doesn't matter a lot because... I'm if, telling you... Because since Jesus called God his father, that means you have to believe because you quoted this verse. You have father to believe also... Mean... Wait, wait, he wait. Let me, he... let me... Oh, okay. I allowed you to speak. Allow me to speak to you. You're my guest. Respect okay, yourself. Okay, I'll let you speak. Okay, okay. Since you quoted this verse, yeah, you quoted this verse where it says that Jesus is calling God his father. Are okay. you telling me, are you telling me that Jesus is not a Muslim? Because you Muslims claim that Jesus is a Muslim, right? Okay. Is, isn't Listen. that true? Wait, isn't that true? Yes or no? Okay, okay. First yes or all, no? Yes or no? Do you believe first. that Jesus is a Muslim? Yes or no? Yes, he's Muslim. Okay. Yes. First are you all, calling? Are you calling Jesus a liar? Can Je I tell you my view? Can I tell you my view? Go ahead. If I'm just telling you this uh, verse uh, contradicts the Trinity, I'm not saying I believe in this verse. Okay. So basically, you want to have a cake and eat it too. That's I'm what coming you're from the outside view. I'm telling you, if someone else was to ask you this listen, question, listen, you would listen. not answer. Listen, you would never answer. I'm going to answer. I'm going to answer, but. Since you asked the question, let me give the ball back to you. Since you are quoting a verse where Jesus himself is calling Did, God. Okay, okay. Let me speak. Let me speak. Okay. Let me Since finish. Can I finish, please? I am talking now. Allow I'll me to finish. Okay. Okay. Uh, allow me to Go finish. On. Why, why are, are you in a hurry? Are you in a hurry? No, no, no. Okay. Okay. Since you quoted a verse where Jesus is calling God his father. And you Muslims claim that Jesus is a Muslim. Right? Okay. Do you believe that Allah is Father? Go ahead. What do you mean by Father? Look, look, look what he said to the disciples. He said, I am going to my Father, your okay, Father. Okay, so who is, is God is yours. calling? Listen, Mine and yours. Answer my question, please. Is God, is God in Islam? It. Is Allah in Islam? Father, yes or no? He's, he's a Father to all his creation. Why, not? Why can't he be? Okay, show me from the Quran. 
I will give you a thousand. I will give you. I will give you a thousand dollar if you can show me from the Quran. You're going to be a rich dude today. I'll give you a thousand dollar if you can show me where Allah calls Himself God. So, so, in the so Quran. your point is, yeah. Your point is, yeah. If I prove this Muslim that there's no father in the Quran, then this viable, this we can't. This verse makes sense. That's what you're telling me. No, what I'm trying to tell you is, you cannot grab a verse. And Why not? try Why to prove your I? because you you are trying to show everybody that you want to have a cake and eat it too at the same time. So when you bring that the, doesn't the, make sense. Okay, okay. So when you bring the bush verse about the Allah my friend, listen, the bush. listen, listen. You said there's no problem in Allah being a father. I gave you a challenge. You can win a thousand dollar today. You said Allah can be a father. Everybody okay. heard you. It's recorded. I'm Show saying, me the Quranic ayah. I'm, I'm saying, waiting. I'm waiting. What I'm telling, my listen. Okay. What I'm telling you is, this verse contradicts the Trinity. I'm not saying this proves the Muslim view. I'm not saying that. Do you understand yes, me? Yes, you are. Because you called me as a Muslim. You want to prove uh, to everybody that Jesus is nothing but a mere man so like Muhammad. Okay, okay. But at the same time, you, you want to prove to everybody by a verse that Jesus is not God. But so Jesus himself, question? I'm asking you, since you brought this verse up, if this is Why my live show, you are my guest. You are quoting question. a verse. Please you are answer this question. Answer this question. No, yes. I. you are if going to are answer my question. Godhead, Listen, you're going to Allah answer head. my question. You're going to answer my question. Since you are the one who brought this verse up, we will go there. Step by step, baby steps. Since oh you, since you quoted this verse and you, a and Unitarian you Christian asking this question, you of can't course, ask it. Of course, I'm not a Unitarian it. Christian. Hmm? Of course, I'm a Trinitarian Christian. But since you're a, a Muslim, do you believe? Unitarian. Do you believe that Jesus is a prophet and he is, he calls his father, uh, sorry, is God father? Do you believe that as a Muslim? Yes or no? Why can't it? It's, uh, basically, literally, he said, "My disciples, my God, my Father, your Father." He okay. Do you believe? Thing. Do you believe that Allah's well, father, father, father? Do you believe that Allah is Father? Do you believe Allah is Father? He he can use that language. Why not? Okay. So so he can use it. That means you can show me from the Quran, right? So you tell, listen. Show me one ayah, man. Come on. I will give you a thousand dollars. Why does that even matter? It matters a lot because you are, you want to have a cake and eat it too. Okay, okay. Friend. But if a Unitarian Christian, a Unitarian Christian oh. showed you this. Please, you, listen, you, listen. Don't you waste my answer. time. Don't waste my time. What I, would you say to I him? will answer. You, you brought this up. You are my guest. At least respect yourself. You said there is no problem. Guys, you heard them, right? You, okay. you said if there's I no problem in Jesus find, saying. What's your point? Then? If I if I say I can't find it, what's your point? That means you you are making a claim. You said there is no problem in Jesus calling God his Father, but you can't show me. That means you're a liar. You're <laughs> with, you're wasting my time. That's why you I'm don't saying. even know what my question is. My question is this: this proves the truth from your book, not from my book, from your book. Okay, not my book. Oh, not my book. Okay, who sent who sent who sent the injil? Huh? Who sent the Injil? Was it Allah or uh, or Buddha? Is it Injils or is it Injil? Is it one Injil or is it two, four Injils? It's we call we call the New Testament the okay. good news, which means you the good news it, about Jesus. So it's you one call word. It gospels according to people, okay, according so, to someone. So so is the Where's gospel? The is the gospel? Then? You tell me. You're the Muslim. Are you, you telling tell me that me. Allah lost it? How? Listen. Show me, show, show me the original one. The, show me. If, if the original one isn't uh, um, here, does that mean that uh, the religion is false? Yes, because you are telling How? me that Allah is a puny, small God. He's certainly not Akbar because he cannot keep it, his promise. He, he said, "No one can alter my words." According to the Quran, Allah no saying, "No one can People change." Have People have bought Is the Injil the word of people? Allah? Is the Injil? Is the Injil the word of Allah? No one has altered it. Listen. No okay, one okay, has altered okay, the, show the it, word. Show it. Show it. If show it. If someone brings a copy and says, ah, this me. is the Injil. Show, it, the to Injil. The show it to me. Show it to me. Show it to me. Since no one altered why the words of Allah. Show it. Why? Okay, why are you? Okay, don't waste my time then. If you can't show me anything. Guys, look at this. Listen, look at this. He wants to prove his points. He says the Injil is the word of Allah. He calls... 
He calls us and says, there's no problem. There's no problem. Right? And Jesus calling Allah his father, God his father. There's no problem. If you don't have a problem with it, show me from the Quran. Come on, man. <laughs> don't waste my time, man. Guys, I, I was really trying to be patient with this guy. And we spoke for a lot of minutes. Every question I'm asking, you, no problem, uh, it's okay, man. But you can't prove, pro I even provided you to give you a thousand dollars for your claim. Guys, you heard him, it's, it's on tape. Right? You heard him, it's on tape, it's recorded. There's no problem in Jesus, that's what he said, right? There's no problem in Jesus calling God his father. If you don't have the problem with that, that means you can show me from the Quran or the Sunnah, I don't care, show me where Jesus is the son of Allah. Show me. Since you made the claim. And he didn't want to show me. Why? <laughs> I mean, come on guys. If I want to quote something from the Quran, can I have a cake and eat it too and say, oh, look, I'm going to quote this. But no, this part of this ayah doesn't matter. I'm trying to prove my point. My friend, since you killed us, you are my guest. Answer my question. I'm not afraid to go there. Look, we're going to through, go to many verses today, to many biblical verses. We're not afraid to answer your question. But since you brought John up, the Gospel of John, Jesus is saying and mentioning God as his Father. Can you show me in the Islamic teaching, can you show me in the Quran, in the Sunnah, that God in Islam, Allah in Islam is Father? Are you telling me that Jesus is a liar? No. Are you telling me that Jesus in Islam is a liar for calling God his father? Muslims? See guys, this is why I said to him, do you want to have a cake and eat it too? Don't waste my time if you can't even answer one question, man. Anyway, do we have any other Muslims who wants to call, guys? Do we have any other Muslims who wants to call? If you want to call us, make sure to answer questions. We will not allow you to have a cake and eat it too. You call us, you need to understand that we are going to ask you, ask, ask you questions. We are going to ask you questions, right? Uh, Mr. Logic, you can call me live on air through Skype and my Skype ID is the Rob Christian. The Rob Christian. Any Muslim? Mr. Logic, call me, call me. Call me. Okay? Blah, blah in text is cheap. Call me. Where did Jesus say, I'm God, worship me, guys? Who started this idea? Anyone? anyone? Who came with this idea? Muslim idea. Where did Jesus say I'm God worship me? It was Ahmadidad 35 years ago, right guys? Yes, hello? Hello? Same guy. Yeah, same guy. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Can show I, me show me from the Quran. Can I show, me, show me from the Quran where Jesus calls Allah his father. Just listen to what I'm about to say. Go Jesus. ahead. Please don't Jesus. waste my time. Go okay, ahead. Okay. First, let me say this. Then you can say, "Well, Jesus said to said to the disciples, I I am going and tell my brothers to my father, your father, my God, your God.' Listen. Yes. If they're one in Godhead, then why would he say to someone else, i 'I'm going to my God'? Because God, God the Father is God. Okay. God the if Son. Only, so if you only listen, said, we, we Christians, listen. You ask a question. I already got your. Let me finish. Can I, I finish, please? I already got the uh, question. You already can asked I, it. Please, can I finish? I'm not stupid. I already heard your question. If he said, "I'm going to my Father," yes. then there's still one in God. There's still one in God. But he said, "I am going to my God." Yes. That shows they're separate. No. Even in Godhood. Okay. Even according to Christianity. God. According to Christianity. 
What's our God? That, According to Christianity, not Islam, what is our God? Three, three persons and one God. Okay, thank you. Who are the three persons? Okay, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Okay, if he, okay, if he said, I'm going to my Father, yes. there's still one in God. Okay, I understand. If he, said, if he stopped at there, yes. Okay. But he also said, I am going to my God, your God. Look, they're separate, even yes. in God. Okay. He equated God the Father as okay. God. Can you as describe? Whole. Can you can you describe the natures of Jesus in, according to Christianity and the Bible? He's a man. He became flesh. He he got, got apparently. So uh, come again, come again. He's got apparently. He he became flesh. Okay. According to the biblical teaching, if we go on, for example, to John one one, it says in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the okay. Word was God. And then if we go to a couple verses uh, later, means... it says, that same Word became flesh and dwelt among us. So according to the Bible, Jesus has two natures. He already existed from the no, very beginning with that. the Father. Listen, allow me, you ask me a question, allow okay, me. Okay, 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 finish it. Motorboat, please, please, be patient, I'm asking you a question. So according, okay. according to biblical teaching, the Son, as the Word, already existed with the Father from the very beginning, right? So we have God the Father, we have God the Son as the eternal Word of God, right? Yes. So then, this eternal Word that already existed with the Father, came down and became flesh. So Jesus has two natures, He has two wills. He is 100% God and He's 100% man so when when he speak when he when he's talking he's also talking as a man so this man has a god he is god he has god the father right and we have the son so we as christians we don't have a problem in any shape or form when jesus says i'm going to my father i'm going to my god because our triune godhead our God is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And they are certainly not separate. They are not separate because they are three in mm -hmm. one. So we don't have a problem with it. When you quote this verse, we don't have a problem with it. Do you understand? Okay. My, my answer is, if, if you show me another are you going to answer? Are you going to answer your own okay. question? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a response. <laughs> okay, go ahead. If you if you say Jesus is God, then God has a God. That that means Trinity is God. Because look, yes, he said, that's what we believe. He, that's what Christianity teaches. God, God the Son, God. God, God the Son has a, has a have Father. Too many gods. Vanessa, Vanessa, wait, Van, guys, Vanessa, please don't call me yet. I'm in the middle of a call. Okay, don't call me yet. Go yeah. ahead, go ahead. Someone called me when we are. In okay, the middle, uh, then that means God has a God. God has a father. Jesus God as has God a has a father. Right? Come on. No, Come on. No, 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 no. No, no, he said, no, no. Okay. I'm going Since to I already God. Listen, listen. I already answered your question. You're you not satisfied. God? That's How not my problem. Want? Since How you brought you it up, God? now you're going to answer my question. I already How? answered okay. your question. Answer I already answered. Question. We I'll, Christians I'll don't have a problem with that. Answer my question. Show me from Show me from the Quran where Jesus is calling Allah his father. Go ahead. I'm waiting for the ayah. Give me the chapter number and give me the ayah number. What did you say? Show me from the Quran, because since Jesus called God his father, show me from the Quran that Allah is father to mankind. Go ahead. From the Quran, please. Okay, wait, wait. Okay. Take your time. <clears throat> Guys, he's going to show me from the Quran that Allah is father to mankind. This doesn't prove or disprove anything. You know that. Okay, wait. Are you calling Jesus a liar now? Listen. He since, said, since my father, Jesus, your father. Yes, There's since, no special relationship. Listen, listen. Since Jesus called God his father, that means if you, if you said, are actually father, a follower of Jesus, your you're a follower, you Muslims are followers of all the prophets, right? You cannot call yourself a Muslim and deny what the prophet well. said, right? We're all children. That's what he said, basically. Okay, show me that you, you as as a Muslim, are a child of Allah. Show me. From the Quran, please. Okay. okay. 
I will give you, I give you 10,000 years if you can show me. 10,000 years, no problem. Guys, make yourself a nice cup of coffee. This, this is the this most go- pointless question ever, you know that. No, 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 it's not p- pointless because else you're going to call Jesus a liar. Go ahead. What does that mean? Listen, if, if Jesus used another word for Allah, does that mean that... Did Jesus lied? lie? Did Jesus lie when he said... Are you wh- telling when me? he said... It's his own when language. he called he God his, his father. Okay, he show used... me. Show me the same language in the Quran. Show me. Why does he have to? Why do I have to? Okay, you can't uh, show me. So you're lying. Everyone you're, uses their own language. You're a waste of time. You're a waste of time. It's everybody's language. You see, guys? Waste of time, man. Stop calling me, man. Okay, I'm going to show you. I'm, I'm waited for five minutes, man. Five minutes I waited. Show me. Don't waste my time, man. It's it's a way of, of his talking. It's a matter of speech that Jesus called God his father. Right? Mr. Logic, I'm waiting for you to call me. Guys, if you're a Christian, please don't call me yet. This is my basic rules. If you're a Christian, you have to wait all the way to the end, okay? If you're a Muslim, you can call me. Programmer. Mr. Logic, I'm waiting for you to call me. Be a man, call me. Okay? Mr. Logic, you donkey son of a donkey. Listen, you said you said God has a God. You already lost. In Christianity, we don't have a problem that Jesus calls his father God. That's basic biblical teaching. All right? We don't have a problem with that. You, are you are you stupid or what? Are you stupid? <laughs> we don't have a problem with that. Yes, God has a father because the Bible is crystal clear. Jesus calls God his father. We don't have a problem with that. You don't you don't see that. You can laugh until the king <laughs> until the last day. Keep laughing, my friend. The jokes are on you. We don't have a problem with that. Right? Are you calling Jesus a liar since he called Jesus his 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 Godfather? We don't have a problem with that, right? We don't have a problem with that, brother. Anyway, guys, I didn't even start my teaching today. A Muslim started to call me. You see, guys, you know what's funny? Whenever we talk about Muhammad, they will never ever dare to call us. I wonder why. But the moment we start to talk about Jesus or you see today's topic, they don't hesitate to call us. Why is that? Huh? Tell me why, Muslims. Why don't you like to talk about Muhammad? Huh? The moment we talk about Jesus, you will see they are start them before we even start the live show. They start to call us. Why is that? Because Islam is not defendable. That's why. The, and the only thing they have is against the Trinity. 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 Do you have anything else? No, you don't. Right? You don't. Again, back to my live show. Ahmed Didad, 35 years ago, started this tactic. Show me. Where did Jesus say, I'm God, worship me? Where did Jesus say, I am God, worship me? Before we go there, guys, before we go there, I didn't even actually did an introduction as I used to. So before we go there, please, guys, if you are a Christian and you believe that Jesus is is our Lord and Savior, pray with me in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, Bless our beloved audience. Lord, thank you for your grace and thank you for the amazing and lovely audience and subscribers who kept supporting us day in, day out for the last years. Please bless them and their families and keep all of them healthy and safe in 2020, including my family, my wife and unborn child. Father, enfold us in your arms. Help us not to lean on our 
own understanding but in everything acknowledge you lord so that you can direct our words thoughts and actions give us a measure of your strength so that we will not give into discouragement deception taqiyya makar lies or any doubt please lord help us honor you in all our ways lord fill me with your holy spirit and loosen my tongue today so i can speak the truth without any error or any shame lord because we should not be ashamed of the truth lord the truth must go out lord give me wisdom and courage to do whatever needs to be done in jesus name we pray amen amen as we mentioned guys earlier on today's live broadcast we'll have the opportunity to investigate common muslim objections against the deity of christ and of course refute them and last but not least when i finish my teaching we will have a q a session as always with our guests in the live chat if there are muslims you can call me during our live show if you are a christian you have to wait all the end when the live q a starts okay guys so do we have other muslims who wants to call us and who can actually defend their claims you heard abdul right you heard abdul he didn't want to defend his claim he said there is no problem in jesus calling god his father okay since you are a muslim you don't have a problem with it defend your case show me from the quran where allah is father to mankind you made the claim man you made the claim with you said i don't have a problem with that since you don't have a problem with that show me from any islamic teaching that allah is father you cannot show me and i told him i'll give you a thousand dollars man i will give you a thousand dollars if you can show me since you made the claim you have to defend it anyway where did jesus say i'm god worship me ahmed didad the islamic knight Did Jesus ever say, I'm God or worship me? That is the common objection that Muslims love to bring up. To try to convince all of us or refute us that Jesus never claimed to be God because he's not. The simple answer to this question is no. Jesus never came out and said those exact words. I am God or worship me. He didn't need to do that right he didn't need to do that and i will try to answer why however if that's the reason to reject the deity of christ that jesus is god in the flesh then this argument proves too much because i like to ask the muslims or the muhammadans the following questions do you believe that jesus is the christ i.e al masih muslims must answer and say they have to say yes is jesus the virgin born son of mary they will say of course yes is he is jesus the word of allah sent down to mary and the spirit from allah muslims have to say yes to all of that because in quran chapter 4 I 171 it says that Jesus is in the Christ he is al masih the son of Mary the word of Allah and the spirit from him now my challenge to them is my challenge to any muslim is show me where Jesus said that show me in your Quran where Jesus says I am the Christ you will never find it Jesus never said it furthermore show me where Jesus says I am the word of Allah Send down to Mary, but you cannot find it. Jesus never said it in those exact words in the Quran. Show me where he, Jesus says he is the spirit from Allah. You cannot find it. He never said it. So Muslims, if we use your logic, like Ahmadidat 35 years ago, if we use your logic, you cannot believe Jesus is al Masih. You cannot believe he is the Christ. You cannot believe that al Masih is the word of Allah and you can certainly not believe that he is the spirit from Allah he never said it in those exact words so why do you command us 
Why are you asking us to show you that where Jesus said, I'm God or worship me in those exact words? Well, you cannot show us from your Quran where Jesus said all of that. Now, which Muslim would accept this logic? This stupid logic of Ahmadidah 35 years ago. Well, Muslims will answer and say, he doesn't have to say it. Already said it in the Quran. Allah already said it in the Quran. Well then, thank you Muslims. Thank you. God the Father himself in the Bible bears witness that Jesus is God Almighty. Right? He's God Almighty. Right? So why did Jesus not say that in the Holy Bible? Because he didn't need to do that. According to your logic, according to your logic, Allah already said it. So if you go by your logic, God the Father already said it. So Jesus does not need to say that, right? He does not need to say that. Because in Hebrews 1a12, right? In Hebrews 1a12, already God the Father Already God the Father himself bears witness in Hebrews 1, 8 to 12, 1, chapter 1, 8 to 12. He bears witness, God the Father, not God the Son, God the Father himself bears witness that Jesus is God Almighty and he is the Lord of heaven and earth. So if you Muslims still accept that Jesus is all these things, even though Jesus didn't say it, then why do you insist that I'm a I, I, as a Christian, have to show you that Jesus said those things in the Holy Bible for you to accept it. Isn't the testimony of the Father good enough that Jesus is God Almighty? The creator of heaven and earth? The sovereign Lord of all creation? And that is as we mentioned in Hebrew 1, 8 to 12. So let's be consistent here, Muslims. Let us be consistent. But can you Muslims actually be consistent? Well, our audience who are listening can be the judge of that, i.e. the Christians who are listening. But let me actually explain to everybody why Jesus did not say in the Holy Bible, I am God or worship me. Why didn't he say that? Now, guys, if Jesus would have said it, if Jesus would have said it in the Holy Bible, that means according to a common Jew in the first century, guys, to any common Jew in the first century, that Jew would have understood these words as, I am God the Father, worship me. Guys, if Jesus would have said, I am God, worship me, to any common Jew in the first century, he would have meant, I am God the Father, worship me. But Jesus is our perfect God in the flesh and he's the perfect communicator he would have never made such a claim because that meant to everybody that Jesus is father and certainly Jesus is not the father he's the son so Jesus is perfect he is the perfect communicator he will never have needed to say I am God or worship me because that would have meant to a Jew in the first century, he is calling himself Father. And that would have been a huge contradiction coming from Jesus. So, thank you Jesus for not saying, I'm God, worship me. So Jesus instead, he said, my Father in heaven. So he is the Son of the Most High. The unique Son of God, equal with the Father. This is why he called himself the Son of Man. This is why he called himself the son of the father, my father in heaven, right? And the Jews understood that, that he claimed to be equal with God the father. The Jews actually picked up stones, right? They picked up stones. As we see in John 10, 33. And the Jews said, we are not stoning you for any good work, but for blasphemy, calling yourself the son of God. You are a mere man, claim to be God. Since you claim to be the son of the most high, 
That means you are making yourself equal with God. You are actually calling yourself God. So that actually proves even more why Jesus is divine and the perfect communicator. For not saying, I'm God, worship me. Because to the normal Jews, that would have meant, I am God the Father. He called himself the Son of the Most High. Right, Muslims? So even more glory to Jesus for not saying that because Jesus is the Son, He is not the Father. Right? So if we go to Mark 14, 61, guys, to verse 64, right? We can read the following. But He held His peace and answered nothing. Again, the high priest asked Him. Now, guys, pay attention. Are you with me, guys? Guys, are you with me? Give me one if you're with me. Now look, guys, when Jesus stood before the Sanhedrin. The, right? Here, Jesus stands before the high priest, before the entire Sanhedrin, right? So, guys, listen carefully and read with me. But he held his peace this is talking about Jesus. He is Jesus here. And answered nothing. Again the high priest. Now look what the high priest is going to ask Jesus, guys. Pay attention and take notes. The high priest asked him and said unto him, Are thou the Christ, the Son of the Blessed? So guys, now focus with me here. What is the high priest saying? He's, he, he knows that the Christ is the Son of the Blessed, right? The Sanhedrin here did not deny that Christ, al Messiah, is the Son of the, uh, of the Most High, Son of the Blessed. So they actually believed, right, that Christ is the Son of God. Do you see it? Are thou the Christ, the Son of the Blessed? So he's asking him, the Sanhedrin are asking Jesus, and in this case the high priest, he's asking Jesus, are do the Christ, the Son of the Blessed. So according to the Jews here, you guys, according to the high priest, Christ, the real Christ, must be the Son of the, of the Most High, right? Did you, did you, did you pay attention, guys? So the, the, <laughs> the high priest never denied that Christ is the Son of the High, right? Of the Most High. So actually the Jews did believe that Christ the Messiah is the Son of God. And he's asking, are you that Christ? Are you that Son of the Blessed? Right? So these Jews actually believe that Christ, their Christ, is the Son of God. Did you catch it? Guys, did you catch what I'm trying to explain? Guys, forget about the I am for a second. Guys, Frau, Frau, Princess Rainbow, all of you. Pay attention to what I'm trying to explain to you. When the high priest was asking Jesus, Art thou the Christ, the son of the blessed? So these Jews, the Sanhedrin, they called the Christ the son of the most high, the son of the blessed. Who? The son of the father in heaven. So those Jews already understood that if Jesus is Christ, he is also he is also the son of the blessed. Bam! Bam! Aha! Uh -huh. Right? So those Jews already believe that al Messiah, right? The Messiah is also the son of God. So they are actually simply asking him, are you that one? Are you the son of God? Perfect. Someone is saying perfect. So finally you, you understood that the Sanhedrin, right? The leaders, they actually believed that the Messiah is the Son of God, right? Because King David himself called the Messiah his Lord. They believed actually that the Christ is the Son of God. So they are actually asking for confirmation from Jesus. What did Jesus answer? What did Jesus answer in the next verse? Verse 62. And Jesus said, I am. He did not rebuke them and say, no, 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 I'm not. No, he said, I am. And you shall see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power 
and coming on in the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest rent his clothes. So he tore up his clothes and said, what need we any further witness? You have heard the blasphemy. Uh oh, did you catch it? So here, Jesus is called a blasphemer for calling himself the son of God. Since they were asking him, are you the Christ, the son of the, of the blessed? He said, yes, I am. Do you see it? And he is quoting scripture from the Old Testament, right? He is fulfilling the scripture of the Old Testament. And the high priest tore his clothes. What do you need furthermore? He just claimed that he is the son of the most high, right? Jesus himself claimed that. You heard the blasphemy, right? You have heard the blasphemy. And they all condemned him to be guilty of death. Because he claimed to be the son of the most high. He claimed to be the I am. Right? So guys, the Jews in the time of Jesus, they actually believed that the Messiah, al Messiah, he is the son of God. Are thou the Christ, the son of the blessed? So take notes, guys. This is Mark 14, 61. So the Jews in the time of Jesus, they actually believed that the Messiah is the Son of God. They never denied that. And Muslims dare to question us. The Jews never believed that the Messiah is the Son of God. Yes, they did believe that. They did believe that. And King David himself believed that. King David called the Messiah his God. Who? King David called the Messiah his God. Any Muslim? No Muslim. So Jesus guys, by this, we actually refuted Ahmadidat. Jesus is the son. He is certainly not the father. If Jesus would have said, if Jesus would have said, I am God, worship me to any Jew, to any Jew in the first century, in the time of Jesus, Jesus would have meant, I am the father, worship me. But since Jesus is perfect, glory to him for not saying I'm God, worship me, because that would have been a huge contradiction coming from Jesus, claiming to be the father, not the son. Jesus called himself the son of the most high, the son of man. Right? So Jesus is the son, he's not the father. So yes, as Road FFM said in the live chat, guys, yes, it would be a huge error. So Jesus, since he's perfect, since he's the perfect communicator, he did not say those exact words. I am God, worship me, right? As Ahmadi Dad said. This proves that Ahmadi Dad has no clue about the Bible. He has no clue what he's talking about. Else you would have ne never brought this up. So guys, whenever a Muslim asks you this question, learn how to deal with this objection. Jesus never needed to say that because if he did, he would have called himself the father. Right? Do we have any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim? No Muslim? Now there's another common objection, guys, from Muslims. There's another common objection from Muslims. Guys, you pick this, right? You pick this topic, right? Not me. So this is why we chose this topic of today. All right? For the people who just joined, we started a community message one day ago and we allowed you to vote which topic is going to be next topic for the live show. And as you see, the majority vote voted for refuting coming objections against the deity of Christ. You see? So this is why we chose this topic of today. Your vote, not mine, right guys? <laughs> but we, don't worry, we will go through the whole list, right? We will go through the whole list. As you see, no problem. Don't worry, be happy Christians. <laughs> so, 
The following common objection, most one of the most common objections actually, Muslims will go to John, as you see, John 5 verse 30. John 5 verse 30. They will go to their Islamic website, guys. Muslims, without any clue, they go only to Islamic websites and they think they know about Christianity, right? I have finally found something against Christianity. They quote this verse and they stop here. I, Jesus said, I can of mine own self do nothing. Right? I can of mine own self do nothing. And they stop here. See, see, Jesus already said, I can't do anything without myself. Well, that's true. Because God, right? God, our God is the Father, the, Holy, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They are always in perfect communion with one another. Right? God... The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, they're always in perfect communion with one another. If God the Father wants something, God the Son obeys, right? And so does the Holy Spirit. So God is in, the Godhead is in perfect harmony with one another. So we don't have any problem against this, right? Because it was the will of the Father for Jesus to come on earth and save us because we cannot save ourselves, right? So God the Father, that was his will for the, the Son to come and die for us on the cross so our sins will be washed away. We humans cannot save ourselves. We needed a perfect sinless person. And who is only perfect? Only God is. So Jesus, who existed with, in the very beginning with the Father, right, as the Son, as the eternal word, he already existed with the Father, coming in the flesh to save us, as mentioned in John 1.1 1, 1 and John 1.14. So this is why Jesus said, I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just. And he actually called himself a just judge. Are a normal, is a normal judge, any judge in the court, Right? Is he just? He cannot be just because he needs witnesses. He needs eyewitnesses. He needs evidence. He needs to ask you, show me the, 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 let's say a, a weapon that a murder was committed with. Right? He needs witnesses. He needs evidence. But Jesus is just. He does not need eyewitnesses. He does need evidence. Actually, here Jesus is again claiming to be a holy judge right he claims to be god himself right because god can see everything he's all-knowing he's omnipresent right and he continues saying because i seek not my own will but the will of the father do you see it because it's the will of the father for jesus as the holy son the son of the most high to come in the flesh to save us do you see it? But Muslims only stop here. Now why Muslims do you stop here? Why are you not continuing to see that Jesus has a father? Calling God his father. Right? Because you want to have a cake and eat it too, Muslims. You want to have a cake and eat it too. You cannot be consistent and only stop here. Why are you not continuing? Because if you continue, you will see that Islam is becoming shish kebab. Actually, by this claim, Jesus just refuted complete Islam. Jesus refuted the fake prophet of Islam because the fake prophet of Islam said, Allah is father to no one. But here, as you see, Jesus again claiming that God is, is his father. You cannot have a cake and eat it too, Muslims. You want to quote a biblical verse? Read and finish the verse. So actually, guys, here's the question. What did actually Jesus mean? Did Jesus, A, did Jesus mean, I am helpless human being, a simple prophet of Allah? Did Jesus meant that by saying, I can of my own self do nothing? Or did he actually mean, B, 
when I claimed to be the divine son of God, you Jewish leaders thought I was claiming to be a separate God who acts on his own. But I am here to correct you. Even though I have the same nature and attributes that the Father has, and even though I'm the final judge of all people and the one who raises the dead, I do not act on my own. I cannot, I cannot act on my own. I can do nothing on my own because I'm not a separate God. I'm one with the Father. I and the Father are one. Do you see why Jesus said, I on myself can do nothing? Because he is not separated from the Father. He is not separated from the Holy Spirit. The Holy God of the Holy Bible, our Holy God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, is a triune God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. And you heard the Abdul when I asked him, can you tell me what according to Christians God is? He said, yes, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Correct. So can the Son act on his own? No, because we don't have a separate God. We have a perfect God in perfect harmony, the Godhead, who is not separate. The God the Father is not separate from the Son. The Son is not separate from the Father. The Holy Spirit is not separate from the Father. We have a perfect God working as a perfect Godhead, a Trinitarian God. So Jesus did not say, I am helpless, please help me. <laughs> no, he meant to say when he said, I cannot do any, anything on my own because he has to always be in perfect communion with the Father. Did you catch it, guys? Why he said it? So actually, we don't have any problem with Jesus saying that. Now, do you understand why? Because Jesus needs always to be with the Father as one. Jesus and the Father are one. Do you see it? I am one with the Father. So it actually, this is a silly Muslim objection without any clue, without any knowledge. And they simply stop here, as I told you. Why are you not continuing? Right? Why? So guys, take a screenshot when they ask you about this. Take a screenshot and answer them the way I answered you. Learn from this. Take a snapshot, guys. Whenever they come and they say, hey, look, look, Jesus said, I on myself can do nothing. This is a way to deal with it. Let it sink in, guys. Take a snapshot and use this. Help me to help you. Use this in your debates. Don't try to go to other verses and, and make it hard on yourself. You know, it's very easy to actually refute the Muslim common objections against the deity of Christ. Right? Here's another example that I started a week ago, guys. Remember this? And I tried to, you know, to train you with this one. Right? Remember this one, guys? A Muslim will say, in Matthew 26, 39, Jesus fell on his face and prayed, brother. Muslim will continue to say, look, Jesus is a Muslim, brother. Look, 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 look. Jesus fell on his pray face and prayed like the Muslims. Right? But a Christian who knows how to deal with such stupid arguments, he, a Christian like me, or like Christian Prince, who is doing polemics day in, day out, if you are a trained Christian, don't allow a Muslim to go away with it. Ask him to read the entire verse. Why are you stopping here? Putting two dots and stop. Go to the entire verse and you will read the following. So the Muslim will answer, okay, okay. Let's see. Let me continue reading. So <laughs> this is still to, uh, Matthew 26, verse 39, right guys? So the Muslim will continue and read. Going a letter farther, he who, Jesus, fell on his face and prayed, saying, My Father, 
Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Is Allah Father? Right? No. So Muslims will, and a, a Muslim who will start to feel the heat on his neck, right? On the back of his neck, he will understand and say the following in himself. Oh wait, did Jesus just call God his father? According to Islam, Allah is not father to anyone. So a smart Christian will say, is Allah of the Quran father of mankind? A Muslim who is a true Muslim will say, no, never. So a Christian will then answer, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Muslim, Muhammadan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Moon idol Allah cannot be the same God of the Holy Bible. And Islam is not an Abrahamic religion because God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, God of the Holy Bible is father to mankind. I rest my case. Right guys? So Allah is certainly not the same God of the Holy Bible because God of the Holy Bible, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is father to mankind. All the prophets, including Abraham and Moses, call their God Father. So when Muhammad, 600 years after Jesus, when he came, he contradicted all the prophets. He contradicted Jesus and called Allah Father to no one. Muhammad is actually like today's Muslims. He's, he wanted to have a cake and eat it too. So guys, take another snapshot of this and learn. I'm trying to train you guys to deal with stupid common Muslim objections. Take a snapshot, take a screenshot and learn how to deal with this. Right? Never trust a Muslim with a Bible verse. Go first, go check it out before trying to answer the Muslim. See if he's quoting it out of context. See if, if, if he's actually reading the entire verse. And then corner him. You want to use a verse? You have to deal with that same verse. Welcome Prancy team, welcome. God bless you. Do we have any Muslim? Always make sure, guys, when a Muslim is quoting a biblical verse, go to that verse, read a couple verses before, read a couple verses after, and see if he's actually not quoting only a part of it, as you see here, how Muslims normally do. Jesus fell on his face and prayed, but brother, read the entire verse, continue reading. Jesus is praying to the Father. He's calling God his Father. Do you Muslims call Allah Father? A Muslim will say no. Then that means your Allah is not my God. Yeah, and why? Yeah, Prince Sitim, exactly. Why would a Muslim quote from a corrupt book? You Muslims claim that the Holy Bible is corrupted. So why are you quoting a corrupt book? And is this verse that you're quoting, is it corrupted? Yes or no? <laughs> yeah, I am medical doctor, says, and I quote, never trust a Muslim with a Bible verse. That is gold, Rob. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. You should never trust any Muslim with a Bible verse. Whenever a Muslim, like I said, whenever a Muslim quotes a verse, always make sure, guys, help me to help you. Always make sure to go and check the verse out yourself first. And actually, I'm really, at the same time, I'm happy with this topic of today. I'm happy that you chose it, but at the same time, I'm not really happy to go through them because, you know, those are silly claims. And why would you quote a biblical verse while you at the same time call the Bible corrupted? What's the point? It's actually a waste of time, right? I'm happy to teach you and train you how to deal with them. But at the same time, for a Muslim who is using logic, it's a waste of time for you as a Muslim to go to the Holy Bible because you believe that the Holy Bible is corrupted. By the way, without any 
proof or evidence from the Quran. Speaking from Kif, Hira, Hira. I challenge, challenge, challenge any Muslim, Muslim who has, has the courage and the knowledge, knowledge to call me and show me one, one, one Quranic ayah, ayah where it says that the Bible is corrupted, 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 corrupted. Show me just one ayah where the Quran is saying that the Bible is corrupted. I will give you today a thousand dollar if you can show me just one ayah where it says that the Bible is corrupted in the Quran. Is that fair deal, guys? Any Muslim, Muslim, call me, call me on Skype. Skype, Skype. <laughs> you like the echo, guys? Nah, just, you know, you know, guys, why we are doing echoes, guys? You know why we are doing echoes? Because Muslims, when they record something on, or they do a nasheed, right? A song, they always use echo, right? Uh, if you saw my intro of today, where uh, Mimi Hijab was spitting, right, like a camel, or a llama, spitting llama or cobra, call, call him whatever you want to call him. I hope you took out your umbrellas, right? Because the screen certainly got wet because of all the spitting, right, Muhammad Hijab? <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim guys? Show me one Quranic ayah where it says that the Bible is corrupted. You love to call the Quran corrupted. Show me. Now, guys, if we go to the Quran, since we are talking about the deity of Christ. If we go to Surah At-Tawbah, Ayah 39, the chapter of the sword, that's the nickname of this chapter actually, the chapter of the sword, or the chapter of fighting. This chapter has a couple of nicknames, the chapter of fighting, uh, or the chapter of the sword, because it's all about violence, right? Yeah, and uh, you know, Muhammad, Guys, when Muhammad was in the cave, yeah, C CW, because Rob Christian is in a cave and got squeezed by Jibreel like Muhammad, yeah. So, you know, Muslims love this echo. Their prophet, when he was talking to Jibreel, Jibreel said, Iqra, 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 ma ana bi qari, a qari. Muhammad would have said, right? I cannot read, read. Why can you not read, read? Because I have nothing to read from, from. Brother, Iqra, Iqra. Oh, guys, sorry. <laughs> Let's see, we have a call. Hello, you're live on air. You know why we are doing Mute, mute YouTube, mute YouTube, please. Mute YouTube. Mute YouTube. Please mute YouTube before you call me, okay? Mute YouTube. Harun Musa, pick up the phone. You just called me, but I'm calling you back. I hope you muted YouTube. Mayday, mayday to Harun Musa. Last, last time. Hello? Harun? That's your dad, that daddy ultimate. Daddy ultimate shirk. How are you, my friend? Yeah, my son. How are you doing, son? Get lost. <laughs> I don't want to waste my time with this donkey. Ultimate shirk who has more than 99 names. He's more powerful than Allah. He has more than 99 names. Every time he calls me with a different nickname. He already has more than 99 names. I I wonder if maybe we should call the Rashad Khalifa kid, yeah, the Rashad Khalifa boy, ultimate shirk. 
we should call him Akbar. Normally Muslims always call Muhammad, sorry, Allah Akbar, but we should call Rashad Khalifa boy Akbar. He has more than 99 names, so that means he's more powerful than his Allah. Don't waste my time, you wanna be Muslim? You wanna be Muslim? You call me, you call me your fa my father, <laughs> my son? <laughs> Brother, you are my son, brother. I'm your daddy. <laughs> Get lost, man. Do we have any real Muslim? I see that Ahmed Khan called me. Let me call. This is the same guy who was not answering any of my questions. Let's see if he's going to answer one of these questions. Hello? Hello, Ahmed Khan. Doesn't Jesus say, I only came for the lost sheep of Israel? Why are you a Christian? Why am I a Christian? Yes. Can you explain to me why he said it? You tell me. No, you tell me since you brought it up. He said, I only came for the lost sheep of Israel. Why did he you're, say that? You're a Gentile. Why, why are you a Christian? Why did he say uh -huh. that? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to answer <laughs> Are you a goat or something? Are you a sheep? I think this guy is a sheep. <laughs> I think this guy, uh, yeah, he has, uh, he has issues, man. <laughs> you make a claim, you're going to defend the claim. You make a claim, you're going to explain it. Why? Don't waste my time. <laughs> What a donkey, man. What a donkey. Do we have any Muslim? What a donkey, man. Didn't the Bible say, guys, didn't the Bible say that it was the will of the Father for Jesus to come in the flesh to save all mankind, right? Because God loved the world, right? God loved the world. He didn't only love the Jews, right? Guys, let me show you. I mean, look at these stupid donkeys, man. John three sixteen, guys. John 3.16 from the King James Version. For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believe in him, in the son, should not perish but have everlasting life. Muslims, do you believe that God has a son? No. So are you telling me that Abraham, that Islam is not an Abrahamic religion? Thank you, radical love. God bless you. Thank you for your donation. Huh? So is Jerusalem the world now? No. So Jesus came for the entire world because God loved the whole world. But when the Bible is talking about Jesus coming for the lost sheep of Israel. This is talking about Jesus. He was in that area, right? He came and need to fulfill the prophecies. And he came and was born in Bethlehem as the Old Testament, right? That he will be, be born in Bethlehem. So Jesus had to fulfill all the Old Testament prophecies, right? The prophecies from the earlier prophets so if jesus went to china that would have not make any sense right guys 
Jesus must fulfill the Old Testament prophecies, the biblical prophecies. And Jesus said, like Moses has written about me, right? Guys, are you paying attention? Jesus came to the Jews to fulfill the Old Testament prophecies, right? This is why he went to the Jews first. So he didn't went to uh, to other cities or other areas. He went to Israel, to the lost sheep of Israel. The people who are in need of God. Who are in need to be saved. But that does not mean that God only wanted to save the Ben Israel or the sons of Israel. No, he wanted the whole world to be saved. This is why we are preaching Christianity. Don't call me. You don't, you're a donkey. Don't call me. Don't call me. Okay? Same guy. <laughs> man, you Muslims are funny, man. Let me go back to chapter 9, guys. I have 31. They have taken their rabbis and their monks as gods beside Allah and the Messiah, the son of Maryam. Here Muhammad busted himself left and right. Guys. Here Muhammad made Jesus equal, the Messiah equal with Allah, right? Min duni Allahi wal Masiha, right? They have taken their monks and scholars as lords, as gods, instead of Allah and the Messiah. He, Muhammad, busted himself. If you are a fake prophet, there will be a time in your so-called Quran al kareem there will be a time that you're going to spank yourself if you're a fake prophet. And here Muhammad spanked himself left and right. Here he actually made a huge mistake. Right? Huge, huge mistake. First, before you start to attack our Bible, take the needle out of your own eye, Muslims. So, if you are a true Muslim, you should actually worship the Messiah and Allah as the Quran claims. Who are lords? Who are the Arbaban? Who should you actually worship? Allah and the Messiah. See? Answer this mistake answer this huge mistake that muhammad created for 1400 years ago why did muhammad create this mass confusion in the quran calling jesus god besides allah huh So actually, God and Islam, according to this ayah, are Allah and the Messiah. Is this ayah da'if, brother? Any Muslim, is this ayah da'if? Do we have any Muslim who wants to call us life on air? We are live. Call me. Call me, Abdul. Right? This is pure paganism because you are making Allah and the Messiah equal with one another. Because it clearly says that the Lord's 
only the ones who should be worshipped are Allah and the Messiah. So here we have a, um, how, do you, how do you call it in good English guys? Binary God? Right? Here we have a binary God. Da'if means uh, weak. Is this ayah weak, guys? Here we have a binary God, Allah and the Messiah. Rob, it doesn't say that, Rob. Rob, it doesn't say that, Rob. Ahmed Khan, are you going to answer one of my questions in your in what just once in your Keep life? Keep reading. Keep answer, reading. Answer Ahmed. this question. Keep reading. Why did Muhammad in the Quran command you to Keep reading? Okay, read. Read for me. Read. Read the Arabic. You read for me. No, yeah. you read for me. You're the Muslim, you're going to read for me. You read. Well, okay, well, start you here. Read. Start here. Read. You're start here. You expose yourself. Read, read. Pakistani boy, read the Quran. This is you your Quran, are, not mine. Well, uh, please read. Stop no, you talking. no, you are going to read. You are you are the Muslim. Read your own Quran. Don't forget to say <laughs> inshallah. Don't forget You're to trolling. say trolling. Goodbye. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Donkey. What a donkey. Brother, I cannot read my Nabi Qari, brother. I'm a Pakistani boy. I can't even read the Arabic Quran and explain it to anyone. It's your Quran. You read it, man. You explain it to me. You don't even know your Quran. You don't speak Arabic. You have no idea what the Arabic says. You are dependent on false translation. Right, brother? You see, they are putting... Whenever you see, guys, whenever you see a word between brackets like this, take a snapshot, guys. That means they added this to the translation. The translation doesn't say that, right? So the translation should be they have taken their rabbis and their monks, right? Their scholars and their monks as gods instead of Allah and the Messiah. There's nothing called also. Allah and the Messiah. Do you see it? Wa means and. Guys, this small tiny letter, wa, wa, that's what it means, wa means and. So who are the lords? Arbaban, who are the lords? It's al Masih and Allah. This is a, a binary God, guys. Two gods in Islam. al Masih and Allah. He, he wanted to hang up, guys. I didn't hang up on him this time. You are a troll. He, he called me a troll. You hear that? I'm the one who's trolling now. <laughs> are you a goat or something? Are you sh are you that sheep? Is that you? Are you the sheep of Aisha? Is that you who eat the Quran, uh, Ahmed Khan? Is that you? Are you that sheep, man? <laughs> Iqra, Iqra. Why are you not reading your Quran? Oh, man, I be qari. I cannot read. Ah, you only read the translation, brother. Ah, uh -huh. I think he's the. I think he's the one uh, who ate the Quran, brother. I mean, you heard him making goat noises, man. <laughs> it doesn't say that, RC. RC, it doesn't say that RC. Yeah, right. What's wrong with Muslims, man? Now, guys, I wanted to share something interesting with you, okay? And I want to start with this ayah. Guys, take out your pens and paper. I'm going to talk about one of my heroes. And I will explain to you who my, one of my heroes are. One of my early heroes. Take your pens out. Take a piece of paper out. And take notes. If we go to Surah An nisa Right? The women. Chapter of the women. An nisa Chapter 4. Ayah 171. All people given the books. That means the Jews and the Christians. This is a funny translation. But anyway, what is not funny when you translate the Quran? The Quran itself is funny. So try to uh, translate the Quran. 
And wherever Muslims try to translate, they, they make more poo-poo than their prophet. So do not exaggerate in your religion, nor say anything concerning Allah, but the truth. The Messiah, Isa, the son of Maryam, is purely a noble messenger. Guys, I'm going to show you the Trinity here in this ayah. Trinity, yes. So, he is the messenger. Isa is the messenger, okay, number one, messenger. And his word, Muslims question, is the word of Allah eternal or created? Is it uncreated, eternal, or is it created? They will say it's eternal, uncreated. So since Jesus is the word of Allah, that means Jesus is uncreated and he's eternal, as explained in chapter 9, ayah 31. God's instead of Allah and the Messiah, right guys? So here, Jesus is uncreated and eternal, like Allah, right? So he, he is the messenger, number one. He is the eternal word, uncreated word of Allah, number two. And if we continue reading, it says, which he sent towards Maryam. So this eternal word of Allah was already existing with Allah. And he sent it down from heaven upon Mary, right? And he is the spirit from him. He is a spirit from him, right? So messenger, he is the eternal uncreated word. And he is a spirit from him. So here we have a trinity, guys. Here we have a trinity. He is the messenger. He is the uncreated eternal word, i.e. Jesus. And he is a spirit from Allah. Nice trinity right there. It doesn't say that RC. RC. It doesn't say that RC. Yeah, right. Guys, I mentioned one of my heroes. And one of my polemic heroes, he was the polemicist of his time, was John Damascene, or simply John of Damascus. He was the polemicist, right? He was the defender of the faith in the time of the Muslims, when it was the golden era of the Muslims, right? Have you ever heard of John of Damascus or John Damascene? He's one of my heroes, actually, guys. One of my heroes. Muslim Abdullah, Muslim Abdullah, listen, if you are that person, let me quote what you just said, guys, just a second. If you are that person, call me and see if you can refute me. Talk is cheap. Let's see what this guy is always calling me. Hmm, something went wrong. Ishmael Muslim. Adamu Bakari, this is a guy with a good Wi-Fi always. This guy. Your connection is bad, brother. You called me, but your connection is bad. Again, what else is new? Okay. Stop stealing the Wi-Fi of your neighbors. games <clears throat> what else is new anyway so John of Damascus guys he was one of the polemicists of his time have you heard of him guys I want to play a small video of John of Damascus and you should actually do some research about John of Damascus. He was one of the heroes, one of the defenders of Christ. Now, let me play a video for you. How he was dealing with Muslim objections. Right? He was the defender of Christ. Let's see if I can pick up the phone for this guy. I called him back, but let's see. 
Hello? You're live on air. Okay, seriously, why are you... Okay, ultimate shirk again. I have no time for you, man. Uh, seriously, brother, seriously. Well, I have no time for you, uh, ultimate shirk. Go play somewhere else. Wanna be Muslim. Guys, you know, I don't understand. Why, are, why am I getting the kids and the wannabe Muslims? Are the real Muslims, are they gone? Are we out of real Muslims? Are we only left with kids? Where are the real knowledge Muslims who can answer just one question, man? Anyway. It's that time of the year, guys. Let me play the video, guys. Put on your headsets. And let us see what John of Damascus said. Because he is just. The crux of the matter is the Incarnation. This is a serious stumbling block for Islam. The Christian claims that Jesus is God and part of the Holy Trinity leads Muslims to call them associators, which is a form of idolatry that associates anything else with God. Saint John uses the Quran itself in the defense of Christianity and argument around accusing Muslims of being mutilators of the Godhead. As long as you say that Christ is the Word of God and Spirit, why do you accuse us of being associators? For the Word and the Spirit is inseparable from that in which it naturally has existence. Therefore, if the Word of God is in God, then it is obvious that He is God. If, however, he is outside of God, then according to you, God is without word and without spirit. Consequently, by avoiding the introduction of an associate with God, you have mutilated him. Did you just heard what uh, John of Damascus said, guys? Did you focus, guys? Did you hear what he said? Let me go back a little. Guys, I want you to pay attention to this hero of his lifetime. John of Damascus. Then it is obvious that he is God. If, however, he is outside of God, then according to you, God is without word and without spirit. Consequently, by avoiding the introduction of an associate with God, you have mutilated him. So actually Muslims, guys, Muslims are mutilators of God. They are actually showing that Allah is actually a puny, small, not Akbar, fake, not powerful God at all. You are actually cutting the hands of feet, hands and feet of Allah. You are mutilating Allah. You are showing us that Allah has no spirit, Allah has no word, right? What is left of Allah? If Allah is not a spirit and he is without a word, you are mutilating Allah. And we love that actually. Right? We love that, that you Muslims are showing us that Allah is not powerful. You are actually cutting off his hands and feet. If he has no word and he has no spirit, then Allah is nothing but a stone idol. Allah is only a stone idol. Ahmed Khan, Hello? are you going to yes. act like a goat again? <laughs> okay, what, what was your question? My question is this. If the Quran is the word of Allah, yes. right? is the Quran created or uncreated? The Quran is uncreated. Uncreated. Okay, thank okay. you. Is the Quran, well, okay. that means the Quran is eternal, right? Yes. Okay, so you have Allah and you have the Quran that both okay. are uncreated and eternal. Isn't that blasphemy? First of all, isn't that okay. isn't that making the Quran equal with Allah? Okay, can I give you my answer? Okay, go ahead. First of all, if I if I speak, is the words a part of me? Basically, the Quran are the words of Allah. They are not separate. They're not a part of Him. They're just words. Since it's okay, since it's from Allah, Allah is. He, he has no time. The words of Allah are eternal. 
Okay, thank you. So okay, if the Quran, what do you think, okay, so you guys, you what do you think them, about the? Words you heard them, them, right? You heard them, what right? What do you think guys? about the? Just Torah? a second, just a second. What do you think you about just, the? Torah? You just made you a huge claim. Problem. Wait, 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 wait. You made a huge claim, guys. This guy you made have the same a huge problem claim. As well. Listen, according to your Quran, Jesus is His word. Okay. That means Jesus you. is eternal. He's uncreated. Go ahead. Try to. Jesus repeat. was created from Allah's word. Kun fayakun, be and it is. Okay, show me, you know show, me show me in the Quran where Jesus is created and Allah said be. Show me. Show me the ayah where it okay. says. I'll I challenge, it. Guys, listen. Listen carefully. I challenge you to show me one ayah from the Quran where, it said, where Allah says be and Jesus is created. Go ahead. I'll give you one hour to show me. Okay, wait, just be patient. No, you know what? I'll give you 10,000 years to show me where it says that in the Quran. Okay. Surah 3, verse 59. Okay, just a second. Surah 3, verse 59. 59. Uh, let me read it so you can't. Okay, well, I'm going to bring it up. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. I'm waiting. Indeed, the ex indeed, the example of Jesus to Allah is like that of Adam. Okay. He created him from dust, and he said to him, "Be," and he was. Okay. okay. Wonderful. Okay. Explain Thank it. You. Okay. Explain it. Since Jesus was created from the word of Allah, be and it is. It's not saying the word is a part of me. The word is it is from Allah, but it's not a part of him. Basically, if I say my toys, listen, listen, toys of my answer, means. answer, answer, you answer this. Explain to me the, this ayah. Don't go outside the ayah. Explain this ayah to me. He said, he created him from dust and he said, be and he, and he was. Okay. 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 What is this the ayah talking about? The example of Jesus, how Jesus created. Okay. okay. Question. Guys, question. This is a very important question. How Jesus created is, okay. uh, is is Jesus is Jesus created from clay? From dust, clay, same. Show me in the Quran where Jesus created from dust. Go ahead. It says it the same verse. Show me. Listen. Show me where Jesus created, like Adam, and show me where Jesus created when Allah said "be" and and Jesus was. Go ahead. It's the same. But read it yourself. It's the same. I verse. am. I am reading it. Show me, where, show me the ayah where it says that Jesus created from clay, like Adam. Show me. And show me where Allah said be and Jesus was. Go ahead. Are you, listen, are you, read that verse. It says it was I'm created from Okay, dust. let me read it. Read it. The and example, said, listen. Uh, let me read why it. Why are you ignoring the be and, it, and he was part? Listen. The example of Isa with Allah is like that of Adam. He created him, who? Adam, from yes. clay. And then said to him, "Be." So this is talking about Adam, right? And it the same upon example, happens. example shows that the same thing. It, sh it shows the example, but where in the Quran it says that Jesus created from clay, and where in the Quran Allah says, "Be," and Jesus was created. Go ahead. What what what, what does example mean? You tell me. Go ahead, show me. Show me where the Quran it's says, the same verse. says that you, I challenge you to give me one thousand. I'll, 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 I'll challenge you. I'll give you one thousand dollar if you can show me in the Quran that Jesus was made from clay. No, he actually created life from clay. Allah never said be, and Allah never created Isa from clay. I challenge you to show me that. Go ahead. Since you are showing me this ayah, saying that it's like Adam, show me from the Quran where it says that. Okay, wait. I'll bring you another verse. Okay. Since you are, this is an example, then clearly you can show me. Okay, wait. Okay, I'm waiting. Why are you ignoring the part where he says this is example? This is example. That means there must be another ayah, right? Where it says 
that Jesus is created from clay and Allah it's the said same be. Verse. He said basically I did the same to Adam to Jesus. Okay, then then he can show then you can show me that from the Quran, right? It's the same verse. He explained. Okay, it. show me then. Show me. This is an example that means there it's is clear, an ayah when Jesus when Jesus was created by Allah, right? When he put he blew in the fijj of Mary, he blew her like a balloon, right? Then it must say that he he put clay inside the fijj of Mary and he created Isa from that clay and he said be and it was. Show me. What does the verse read? The verse, please. I let me read it again. No problem. The example of Isa with Allah is like that of Adam. He created him, Adam, from clay and then said to him, be and thereupon happens. Okay, okay show me. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Show me. Thank you. Show me when Jesus was so called created, as you must when, claim. When the Quran says, where does, a word where, him, that's the word it's talking about. It said where, be and it was. Where? Show me. When he said be. That's where? Show thing. me. It show says, me. Bro, listen. listen. Show me. It says, it says, just like Adam, we created Jesus. Same thing. The same thing we did to Adam. Okay, show me. Jesus. Okay, since he That's did it like to... Says. Okay, show me. Why is... Why is the same verse? Hey, show me. <laughs> the same verse, man. Show me. 359. Why, why another challenge. That? Another challenge. Show me from the Quran where every, anything that Allah created, he said be. Go ahead. Not only Jesus. When okay. Allah created Adam, did he say be? Yes. Show me. It's the same verse, and I'll bring you another one. Thank you very much. Okay, call me after 10 minutes. Maybe you can find it. Don't waste my time. B, brother. I challenge you to show me one ayah from the Quran. When, when, when Allah creates, he says B. When he created the heavens and earth, did he say B? No. Call me after 10 minutes. Maybe you can find it. Don't waste my time. I already finished him, guys. He can show me the example. He's talking about example. Okay, since you're talking about example, show me from the Quran where Allah is creating Jesus from clay since you are claiming that this is the ayah. Okay, then you, clearly you can show me when Allah so-called created Jesus, Isa. There's nothing called Jesus, by the way, in the Quran. It's Isa. Show me when Allah so-called so created Isa. He said, be and it was made from clay. Last time I checked, guys, according to the Quran, it's a virgin birth. It's a miraculous virgin birth. Right, Muslims? Where is the clay? There is nothing called clay. What clay? Show me. And uh, did Allah say be when he created Isa? Okay, if you are going to make that claim, show me then. When Allah was blowing up Mary like a balloon, he was blowing on her vagina, right? Show me where, where he said be and show me where Jesus is being made from clay. And Allah certainly did not say be when he created Adam. I challenge you to show me from an, from an ayah where, where he said that. Show me. Abdul, son of Abdul. So guys, I hope you enjoyed John of Damascus, how he show, actually is showing how Muslims, when they say Allah is not a spirit, right? Allah is without a word. You're actually mutilating Allah. But the Quran is clear, crystal clear. Jesus is actually... He is the word of Allah, the eternal word of Allah, uncreated. It's in front of you. If Allah's word is eternal, uncreated, and Jesus is the word of Allah, his word of who? Of Allah. That means Jesus is uncreated and eternal, right? But here Muhammad actually stole this from John 1, 1, right? In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So Muhammad actually was copying the Bible here, right?
He wanted to be friends with the Christians. You make a good point, brother, with Zucker Naik say. I am still waiting for you to show me where when Allah supposedly created Isa. I challenge you to show me the ayah where it says Jesus is created from clay and Allah said be and Jesus was. I'm waiting man. Call me after 10 minutes. Maybe you find the ayah. I'm still waiting for the ayah. Show me the ayah where, where when Jesus is being created, when Allah is blowing in the vagina of Mary, he's blowing her up like a balloon. Did Allah there is using clay to form Isa? No. Did Allah say be and Isa was in the womb of Mary? No. Certainly not. I mean, if, if this is the example of Adam, then clearly you can show me how Jesus is being created. So are you telling me that Allah, when he was blowing, he put clay in the vagina of Maryam? Right, guys? According to this guy, since he claims he put clay in the vagina of Maryam and he's, he's blowing <laughs> clay in the vagina of Maryam? And then he said, B? Where? Where does the, the any ayah in the Quran says that? Guys, imagine, imagine, right? You have Mary, according to this guy, you have Mary, Allah stuffs Mary with clay in her JJ. Then he starts blowing, and then he says, B, where does it say that? This is your claim, not mine. I'm waiting, man. Show me the ayah. Since this is the example, show me. I know um, Eric Kamandi says, Rob, Christian, even Adam was not created by the word B. Yes, he wasn't. Show me where it says that. Any Muslim? No Muslim? Hmm. Now if you go to chapter 3 guys, Surat Ali Amran. I hope, it, guys, I hope that this guy, he calls me back. I hope he got me the, the ayah. Okay. Let's see. Did you, did you find the ayah? Hello? Yeah, did explain you, to me. Did you? What, no, 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 no. Don't change chapter topic. Three verses. Ten. You explain to me why are you hiding your deception. You explain to me what that verse is talking about. This verse. What, you, what is it talking no, about? It says he created him, Adam. Yes. From clay. Okay, we understand that. Okay, okay. Read and the then verse, he said please. to him, "Be." And then the verse, thereupon verse, happens. The I'm reading. Verse. I am reading the whole verse. Okay. Indeed. She, the likeness of Jesus to God as the likeness of Adam. Yes. He created him from dust and said to him, be, and he was. Okay, the same thing, example. It's an example, basically. Okay, since there's an example, there must be an example in another example ayah. Example means, I am showing okay, you what I've done Okay, before. then show me where the Quran says that Allah took clay, he put it in the vagina of Mary, started blowing, and... Then he said, "Be and it was." Show me. Why? Are you, why are you using deception? Why can't you accept the fact? Who is that using example? deception? Who is using you're deception? Using, you're using Since deception. it's the example, show me, man. You're using deception. You're you're, you're trying to get lost. Don't waste my time. Since it's talking about example, then me, that means when Allah was creating Jesus, He put clay. He took clay. He put it in the vagina of Miriam, started blowing, and said, be, and Jesus was. Right? Show me that. 
Where is it talking about clay in the Quran when Jesus is being created? Where is it talking about B when Jesus creates? Show me. <laughs> show me. Since you're talking about example, clearly you can show me. Show it. Am I being deception? I'm using deception, guys. I'm asking a sincere question, Muslim. Since this is talking about that Adam was created like Jesus. Okay, fine. Show me in the Quran when Jesus being created, Allah takes clay, he put it in the vagina of Maryam, starts to blow and says be and Jesus was. Show me. Yes, Karyan, you're a little bit too late. Actually, we're almost done. Okay, this is the guy who always used bad Wi-Fi. Uh, I think he's from Nigeria. Hello? Yeah, look at this. Wi-Fi stealer, brother. See, it's, you know, reconnecting. There is a pure network connection. Brother, stop stealing the Wi-Fi of your neighbors, brother. <clears throat> Make always sure to say inshallah three times before you call me, else Allah is not helping you with your connection, brother. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, NAS TV Live, I challenge you, NAS TV Live, I challenge you to show me in the Bible where Jesus was using diapers. You said this, I challenge you that Jesus was in need of diapers. Can you show that to me in the Bible? I'll give you a thousand dollar if you can show me the word diapers in the Bible. Since you made the claim, brother, you are a proud Muslim. That means you can call me and see how proud you are. Call me, brother. We are live. You can call us live on air through Skype. My Skype ID is D Rob Christian. Right? D Rob Christian. You can call me and refute me. If you are so proud, that means you have you have the knowledge, right? I'm still waiting for any Muslim to show me how Jesus is created like Adam. Show me where Allah is using clay. And he says be when he is creating Jesus. That doesn't say that. It clearly says Jesus is the messenger of Allah. Fine, no problem. And he is his word. Question Muslims. Is the word of God eternal? Yes. Is anyone else addressed like Jesus as the eternal word of God? No, only Jesus. And he already existed since the word of Allah is always eternal, uncreated according to the Muslims. That means Jesus, that you call Isa, he already existed in heaven with Allah. And he sent that same word upon Maryam from Jannah. Hello? Hello? Okay, did you find the ayah for me, Ahmed Khan? Can I ask you, can you ask... Okay, no, no, I'll you are going to provide the ayah for me. If you answer this, I'll You're going, question. you're going, okay, go ahead. Okay. Okay. No I problem. stick to the Bible. Don't go anywhere else, okay? Okay. I hope John... you're not going to give me a corrupted verse, brother. Okay, don't worry. John 20, 17. Okay. Jesus just, said, just, my just, God. Just, just a second. Your God. Just a second, Abdul, just a second. I am going to my father. Just a second. Your father. John what? My God. Uh, what? John 20, 17. 20. Stick to the verse. Please. Number one, Jesus has Jesus is a man and he has he has Just a Just second. Let That's me read a couple of verses before. Number one. Jesus said unto her, Mary, she turned herself and said unto him, Rabuni, which is to say, Master. Jesus said unto her, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my father. 
Can I give you, can I finish my question? Okay. Do you believe Jesus has a father? My question? Do you believe Jesus? Do you believe Jesus has a father? Come on, man. Listen. Can I finish my question? Go ahead. I am. I am coming from an outside view. Okay. I'm not coming from a Muslim view. Okay. Do you understand that? Yes. Jesus said to contradict your your Trinity. Is the Bible? Listen. Is the Bible? Is the Bible your the word Trinity, of Allah? Okay. Is the word? Is the Bible the word of Allah? Yes or no? I am is the Bible? Are you, are you contradicting? Are you contradicting the Muslim. Bible of Allah? This, is that, that what you're saying? Are you contradicting what? the Bible of Allah? I'm contradicting your Trinity, which came later on. And later, not... when, when, and where? Go ahead. Council of Nicaea. Listen, Jesus said, "My God." Prove it. If prove he it. Is, prove if it. He's one prove in it. God no, no, no. You want to claim? Say, prove my it. God. I'm going to prove my it. God. Why are you hiding? Why Do you, you believe? Jesus has a father in heaven. Do you believe don't that they, Allah's father? In, okay, if he said, I am going to my father only. Can you prove to me? You. Listen, listen, there listen, listen. Donkey, donkey, listen. Is Allah father, yes or no? Huh? Is Allah father to mankind, yes or no? Listen, I said I'm coming from an outside view. I don't care if you're, if you're from Pluto or from Mars or maybe from the moon. I don't care where you're from. Since you are trying to force Islam into my Bible, right? And you want to have a cake and eat it too. Since Jesus is saying, I am ascending to my father, then clearly you can show me where Allah is father to mankind. Are you trying to have a cake and eat it too? You want to bring up a verse, but you don't care about the context. You don't care about what Jesus is totally saying. You just want this part, to talk about this part, right? But you are forgetting that Jesus is calling God his father. My father and your father. Is Allah father to mankind? Certainly not. So if Allah is not father to mankind, as he's certainly not father to Jesus, that means Allah is a different God. Islam is not Abrahamic. And Muhammad cannot be the same prophet like Moses and Abraham who called their God father. You cannot have a cake and eat it too. I don't care if you're from the moon. I don't care if you're from Mars. You want to force Islam in my Bible? You have to deal what the Bible is saying. First you have to deal with what the verse is saying. Right? I'm not going to allow you to go away with what you're claiming. You want to rip this part out of the verse and you want to talk only about this part. Why? Is this how the Bible works, guys? Is this how the Quran... Imagine, guys, if we do this, right? If I'm reading a verse out of context, we read it as it is. Guys? We don't do what the Muslims are doing. Right? Brother. Any Muslim? Don't send me kids, man. Please. Send me the real ones. The real heroes. Steven Zombie says, hey Rob, could you explain about Aisha and Safwan? Well, that's not the topic of today, my friend. I would love to, but not today. Okay. There are many topics that we have to go through and it's out of my topic of today. Why cut the phone call? This Abdul who called me is saying, why did you cut the phone call? Because you want to have a cake and eat it too. You want to talk only about this part. Why are you leaving this part out? Is that fair from you? How Muslim of you? Imagine if I do this to your Quran. Didn't you ask me to read the verse? Uh, what was this verse? I read it as it is. Completely. I'm not taking only one part out. This part? No. I read it as it is. Why are you not being fair? Why are you being an Abdul? Son of Abdul, Taqiya boy. Why are you only reading this part? That's not how my Bible works. At least be fair, donkey.
And Jesus has the power. Guys, look at this. Jesus has the power to go to the Father. He, I exempt, right? I am going to go on the clouds of heaven to the Father. I mean, I mean, can a normal human being do that on his own? You want to take the verse out of context completely and only quote one part. And I told you before, we Christians don't have a problem with this because God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So when Jesus is calling his Father my God, then we don't have a problem with it from the Christian point of view. You think that's a problem? No, for us it's not a problem because this is crystal, perfect, crystal clear biblical teaching. You think that's for you it's a problem, but for us it's not a problem. Right? You want to quote biblical verses? You quote it as it is. You quote it as it is. Not, you're not going to force Islam in my Bible. I'm not going to, uh, to allow you to do that. Because I'm not do allowing myself to do that with your Quran. I read the Quran as it is. I take the Quran as it is. I take the Hadith as, as it is. I read it as it is. I don't force my Christianity in your Quran. I don't force my Christianity in your Sunnah. Right guys? Read my Bible as it is. Don't quote it out of context. Shame on you. I don't care if you're on the moon. I don't care if you're on Mars. I don't care if you are on Pluto. I don't care where you're from. You want to quote biblical verses? You quote them and take them as it is. Be at least fair. The Bible is clear. Jesus is the Son of Most High. He is the eternal Word of God that existed with God from the very beginning and came to earth, took on flesh body. That's what the Bible clearly says. So I don't have a problem when Jesus calls the Father his God. Because he is the, his Father, he is God, right? And we know that Jesus is the second part of the triune Godhead. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Start from there, baby steps, and then you will understand. Read the Bible. Don't go to ahmadi.com and think you know, you think you know you what you're talking about. That's not how the Bible works. Read it as it is. Abdul Muslim Abdullah. He said, my God, yes, we don't have a problem with it. Don't you understand? The Father is his God. Yes, because he's in the flesh, right? We have finished our calling. Okay. Hello, Vanessa. How are you, sister? Can Hello, you hear me? brother. Hello. Hello, Vanessa. Welcome. You called me earlier when. Yes, yeah, sorry. For the during the time. teaching. Yeah. Just if you want to call, sister, God bless you. How are sorry. you? I just call me when we are done teaching. I'm good. Okay. okay. Welcome. Go ahead. Sister. Okay. Because every time, they, every come the Islam, the Islamists uh, call you, yeah. I have something to give back to them. Yeah. And that's why I tried to call the other time, but there was time lapse, and it came in during the time you were. To, uh, uh, I know, another sister. Call. I know, but you know, I I, I wasn't uh, doing live show for at least one week, so my time is very precious, right? So we want the guest yes. first to call us, so, and when we are out of guests, okay. like now, you can call us, no problem. But I'm always this okay, is my so basic what? steps, right? Only Muslims call us during the live show, but if you're a Christian, you All want right. to call, call me after when you're done. Okay, so go ahead, sister. Okay. Okay, you just uh, the the Islamists. I see the Islamists are always bent on uh, saying, "My God, your God." Yeah, I agree with them on on the on the internet on YouTube as well, and I think in Islam there is spirit of Antichrist. Of course, started started by Muhammad, and it is like a course that is going down the line. No matter what you tell them. The spirit of Antichrist is always there. And th that spirit is to say Christ is not God. Christ has not come to save mankind. Now, the, the, um, uh, the uh, passage both of them referred to, there is one passage I always give them, that where it says, my God and your God, my, uh, my father and your father, if he's God, why would he say my God? I have a passage, uh, brother, can you open... Can can you hear me still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm with you. Okay, I'm with you. brother. Can you please open Philipp Philippians chapter two, please? 
Philippians chapter 2 Just a and uh, Abdul's chapter 2 what what verse with, what verse uh, from uh, from verse 5 from verse 5 Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 okay. I know the Abdul's that are uh, brainwashed Do you want me to read it do you want me to read it Yes please okay. because let me start with five. the question that if they okay. want to if they okay. want the question if it's not the spirit of antichrist that is plaguing them Okay, let me read it and tell me when I need to stop, okay? Let me start with verse yes. 5. Let this mind yes. be in you, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, what? Who being in the form of God, th thought it not robbery to be equal with God. So are you telling me that Jesus is the form of God in the flesh, though it's not robbery to be equal with God? Is that what you wanted to? So clearly no, here. I'm saying... Yes. Okay. Do you want me to continue? Do you want me to continue? Yes, continue, continue. Okay. Let me go to the to verse seven. But made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. Let me continue to eight. Exactly. Do you want me to continue? Yes, okay. And yes, being yes, found yes. in fashion, and being found in fashion, verse eight. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Verse 9, wherefore God also had highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven and things on earth and things under the earth. Wow! This is verse 10. Yes, verse 11, brother. Okay, then, okay, let me go to verse 11. Let me go to verse 11. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Where yes, thank you very much, brother. All right. Thank you. What I want to say is how difficult it is to understand that Jesus, there was even this prayer he prayed in John chapter 17. Yeah. The glory, I have finished the work. I have brought glory to your name. Give me the glory that I once had with you yes. before the world was. Yes. The spirit of Antichrist is so blocking their mind that they cannot see that Jesus set his glory aside in heaven, come for the uh, sake of man down to earth and became man, 100% man. Yeah. So he going to pray, he came to die, to shed his, his blood that has no stain, no stain of sin. What is so difficult to understand? Satan is a very, very, is, is a captor that is really wicked. Yeah. What is so, what is so, so difficult to understand there? That he came and said, I am 100% man. Yes. And said, I'm going to your father. Now with my blood, I have bought, brought souls. Exactly. Glory to, to his name, yes, yeah. exactly. Jesus we, without God. Jesus, we are nothing. If, Imagine if Jesus didn't come to save yeah. us. We, we would all end up in hell, God forbid. Yes. You know, one, uh, one woman always uh, wanted me to, I, I guess if, if she's from Iran. Mm -hmm. Where in the Bible does Jesus say I'm God? I showed um, uh, uh, revelations where, Jesus, where, where God saw Jesus and Jesus said, I am the first and the last. Yes. That well, was... You can imagine we have been arguing all through till I. Uh, what what uh, what verse is that revelation? What? I, I forgot. I, I'm holding the uh, phone in my ear now. Yeah. There is a passage in the Bible. I guess the uh, first chapter. I think it is. I'm the, when he said I'm, I'm Jesus, Alpha and Omega, right? Chapter twenty-two, I think. Yes, I am. Yeah. Yes, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. And yeah. I said, look, this is what Jesus claims. Yeah. This is what your Allah claims. Yeah, Allah exactly. That's okay. I re, you you are okay. actually taking the words out of my. I wanted to add that Allah Himself says I am the first and last. So when Allah says yes. I am the first and last, and Jesus says I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and last. Are you telling me that Jesus claimed the same divinity claim as Allah in the Quran? And oh, she said oh, we oh, don't believe in oh, oh. She said we believe in Jesus. We, Jesus yeah. is just a prophet. I said, well, that is your own. Yeah. I mean, the work of salvation is there for you yeah. to accept and take in faith. 
And if you refuse it, you have yourself to blame. Yeah. So all these people, you know, when the first caller called you, yeah. I was praying, I was praying, and I thought, oh my, I have to call Brother Rob. Yeah. The spirit of Satan does not want, did not want you to pray because he knows before you start anything, you pray to God. Yeah. If we, yeah. Call, Sister, if I may add just a second. Have... Yeah. If we go to chapter 57, yes. if we go to chapter 57, verse 3, ayah 3, it says, He, Allah, is only is the first and He only the last. So this is the same claim, the same divinity claim that Jesus is making, right? In yes. the book of Revelation, as you see. Jesus yes. making the same divi divinity claim as Allah, as you see, Revelation chapter 22, verse 13, and chapter 57 of the Quran, ayah 3. So clearly, yes. clearly Allah and Jesus are equal. This is why, this is why, right? This is why Jesus is the eternal word, the yes. kalimat Allah, is the eternal word of Allah, right? In the Quran. He is the eternal word. You are putting Allah on the same scale as Jesus. Allah yeah. and Jesus are not on the same scale. No, Allah is not. Satan. Yeah, Allah is Satan. Yeah, exactly. Allah wants to stop the always has always wanted to stop the, the the throne of God, and yeah. he, he he will never, he will never the, dare. God what forbid, I want yes. to say is, yeah. yes, so I never ever want to put Allah and uh, uh, Jesus on the same scale. There is something else I wanted to say that uh, the other guy said. I was going to say it and then it just escaped my mind. Yeah. Uh, Kim, anyways, Kim says, hope... yeah, Kim, Kim in the chat, she says, let me quote what Kim says. And I quote, Kim yes. says, Allah is under the Jesus feet. Exactly. Amen. Exactly. Allah, who is Satan in disguise, is under the feet of Jesus. Exactly. But that is what Genesis says, Brother yeah. Rob. Yeah. That's what Genesis says. I don't know where in Genesis, but when uh, God was uh, passing judgment on the on the serpent, yeah, He said, "You shall be bruise his and he shall crush your head." Yes, you exactly. know, yeah. you know the spirit of Satanism, the spirit of uh, the spirit of Antichrist that is in them. They cannot. Uh, John says, "Light." Yeah. comes and the darkness can no, no, not not uh, turn it out my in my language it says it cannot it's like it cannot quench the fire yeah. you know and they are trying to quench the fires so one wrote to me on the internet on youtube and said yeah we are taking over your churches yeah. i said have you been able to take in, to take over all the churches in the middle east after killing all the christians you cannot kill all the christians <laughs> The yeah. Bible says, this is my church, yeah. and the gate of hell shall never prevail against it. Amen, amen. It was, by the way, so, Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. It says, let me quote it, and I will yes. put enmity between thee and the woman, who is thee, is Satan, right? And the yes. woman, and between thy seed and her seed, it shall bruise thy head. Who, the seed yes. of Eve, guys, the seed of Eve, who is Jesus, shall bruise thy head and thou shalt bruise his heel so actually satan is under the feet satan is under amen. the feet of jesus exactly amen amen to that amen so amen. they can never they are always writing me we are taking over your churches in europe and everything i said you are taking over the churches in europe are you sure yeah. how many churches have you taken over in the middle east how have you been able to destroy all the christians there yeah. It's not possible. The gate of hell. This is my, the rock. God has built the church on the rock. Amen. And the Amen. gate of hell shall never prevail against it. So Amen. that is what, when you get all these attacks, while you are going online, yeah. that's why I was calling to make you see, brother, please start with prayer. This is the devil that yeah. does not want you to pray. Yeah, we always, we always start with prayer. I, today we prayed yeah, also. Didn't want yeah. you to pray. yeah. The guy didn't want you to pray you see he yeah. just called immediately he was waiting the yeah. devil in him was waiting yeah, yeah, yeah. you know the funny thing is Vanessa I mentioned this earlier and people are listening the moment yes. we talk we we take topics about Muhammad we we talk about Muhammad they don't dare to call but the moment we yes. talk about Jesus like today right right as the today's yes. topics right we uh, the objection against the deity of Christ they call us Satan in, in them right wants to call yes. but when we yes. talk about Muhammad they never call what's the, why is that yes. 
Ask yourself you this. Why Muslims don't call like when we attack and expose exactly. Muhammad? Right? Exactly. Jesus came 600 years yeah. or more after Muhammad. And Muhammad that never, never... No, no, Muhammad came 600 years after yeah. Jesus. That's what yeah, you yeah, mean. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. That's yeah. what I was going to say. Yeah. Muhammad never saw the uh, yeah, so-called Allah. Yeah, he Except never saw Allah. He never saw Jesus. He has no yeah. eyewitnesses. He... No, he yes. can't even prove that it was Jibreel who was talking to him. Did anyone see Jibreel except Muhammad? No. Of the Christ is in that religion. Exactly. It's it's plaguing them all, all mm. of them, without exception. Yes. And they call you, or rather, they write me. But brother, my 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 family is like telling me, okay, we think you have to stop this because I was never doing that. But mm. I always think I have to answer them. They will write things that I think, did someone take out your brain? Are you half brain? <laughs> you have already answered what you are asking me. Yeah. Where is Jesus? Where does Jesus say, I'm God, worship me? Yeah. And then I will tell them everything and they still don't get it. Yeah. So it's the spirit of Antichrist, yeah. brother. Yeah, Finessa, that you know, Finessa, about, uh, about the claim, right? Uh, this is Ahmad yes. Idad, right? Ahmad Idad started in the in the 70s let's say 80s he started with these tactics right before that we the muslims yes. never used this uh, kind of tactics before so ahmad idad uh, is the is actually one of the first who started this actually if jesus would have said i am god worship me that meant to any first century jew i am god the father worship me since jesus is perfect and he's the perfect communicator he said i am the son of the most high he didn't say I am God worship me because to any normal Jew, right? To any normal Jew, that meant I am God the Father worship me. Since Jesus is perfect, this is why he didn't say that. He said, I am equal with the Father. I, me and the Father are one, right? So this is why he didn't say I'm God worship me, else they would have but understood he, it, right? Differently. Brother, but he says I am. Yes, he said I that, am, yes. Because he is I am because he is Father. equal with the Father and the Holy Spirit, right? This is why he said exactly. I am. He didn't say and I am the Father. He didn't say I yes. am the Father, right? I am. The, the three in one sentence, exactly. I am. Exactly. So yeah. what else? That settles it. Yes. I mean, Amen. what? Uh, how much brain do you need to understand? Yes. Now, the one that you, the one that you, uh, uh, John of Damascus that you played, Yeah. God, I, I just thank God that this is, what God, this is exactly what God gave me to answer someone on the, on the, on, on the YouTube. Yeah. That your, your Quran, even though I don't believe in it, I think it's a fraud from, from A to Z, from cover to cover. Yeah. Your Quran said, Jesus is the word proceeding out of Allah, your Allah. Yeah. Yeah. And is the spirit of Allah. And all of a sudden, Allah doesn't have a spirit. You yeah. see, I said, how do you dismantle your God? Your Allah doesn't have a spirit. That means it's lifeless. How yeah. can you worship, worship a dead God? Yeah. And, and John Damaskin, John Damaskin was really, uh, uh, brilliant. He, he was the brilliant polemicist of his time. Uh, he says, you know, if Allah is without a spirit, Allah is without a word, that means you are actually cut off the hands of feet. You are mutilating Allah. You are showing everybody that Allah is nothing but a dead idol, a stone idol. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I do not understand at all that <laughs> the thing is there and yeah. the, the mind has been so conditioned to yeah. go against Christ. Exactly. I do not understand. And the guy that mislead uh, all the, the this thing put the bitterness in there. It's bitterness and pride that is that is misleading Islamists, I have to tell you. Yeah. It's bitterness. You know, uh, yeah. Exactly. And the thing is, we don't hate Muslims. We really don't hate you Muslims. We are actually trying to show you that Islam is nothing but the religion of Satan. And Muhammad is the agent of Satan who came 600 years after Jesus. He never saw Jesus. He has no eyewitnesses. No one saw Jibreel that came to him and started screaming him like a grape or a tomato, right? <laughs> In that cave. No one saw that happen. Where's your proof, Muhammad? You, you, and you claim that you didn't talk directly to Allah. So, what, 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 what is evidence of, of Muhammad? I mean, everyone can make a claim. And many fake prophets, like Joseph Smith of the Mormons, uh, Ahmad Mirza, uh, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, right? Of the Ahmadiyya, uh, cult. They, they are all 
like Muhammad, right? Everyone can create a religion and say, I'm a prophet of God. But where's your proof? Where are your miracles? Right? The, brother, there is only one truth. Yes. Satan has many, many devices. His devices are to contaminate Christianity and to bring out all other cults. Yeah. But there is only one proof, and yeah. that is through Jesus Christ. Yeah. So it's left for every individual to accept or not to accept. That is why Satan is doing everything to fight Christianity and, Jude and, and, the, and the Jews. Exactly. You see, because he knows there is only one way. Yeah. Why doesn't he fight the other ways? You understand? And yes. briefly, I will let you go, brother. Just one, one more point. Yes. I met that. I told this, uh, uh, I said this with uh, people that were arguing with me on YouTube. Yeah. That, okay, let's see. There are, how many prophecies of Muhammad got fulfilled? Yeah. They will say, it, I will debunk it. And then I will say, but one prophecy got fulfilled. And mm -hmm. what is that prophecy? That prophecy says, if you are, uh, uh, if you are a fraud, if all you are saying that you are a prophet and you are not, this is how you are going to die. Did he die like that? <laughs> and yeah. I made that for yeah. God bring glory to his name. Yeah. I made that in his in his waywardness, prayed yeah. and said, anyone that is uh, that is uh, a fraud in this debate with uh, this other Palestinian Arab, exactly. Let, let him how many years did god mute him yeah god muted him yeah when you ch when you're going to challenge the god of abraham isaac and jacob yes. god will mute you and he actually became mute late later right and he yes. died as a mute in his on his deathbed and i i watched all the videos i could find on on the on youtube yeah. this guy was always opening him his mouth it's as if he wanted to warn the muslims yeah. hey it was it's all a mess it's all a, it's all it's all fake but he yeah. could not he yeah. was muted i yes. watched in fact i was feeling i was feeling pity for the guy yeah. you know so if muhammad has started this cult yes got the uh, the punishment as the prophesied prayed and got muted yeah. as he prayed for what else do you want for god will always bring glory to his name Amen. And it's not Allah. It's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Amen. Thank you, brother, for yeah, my thank call. You, thank God you for you. calling. Thank you for calling. God bless you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Yes, bye-bye. Bye-bye, sister. Bye. Yeah. Always a blessing to, to have a conversation with this dear sister of ours. Thank you for calling. God bless you. Do we have any other callers? Is there any Christian who wants to call us or any Muslim? Is there maybe another Christian who wants to call? Maybe you have uh, want to share something with us or you have a question or... Do we have any Abdul? Do you have any Imam? Is Fifi here? Fifi will have said, Rob Christian, it doesn't say that Rob Christian. Uh, music learner, you're you asking me the following question. Let me copy and paste what you said. I want to also answer questions from the chat. But let me take this call, guys. Let me take this call. Hello, you're live on air, sir. Welcome. Hey, hello, brother Rob. How are you? I'm good. How are you? How about yeah. you? I'm fine, brother. I'm fine. I listen to your podcast now, and I just want... I, ha I have one question. Yes, go ahead, my friend. It's your about... life on air. Everybody can hear you. No problem. It's good. Because uh, every Sunday, I'm in the church, and the church Christ said... Uh, what, what, what have he said? No matter if the... No matter what a person is, a yes. Christian or Buddha or a Muslim... If he's good in the heart, he will enter heaven. And that, then I am asking him uh, how, he, how he can say... This. Sorry for my English. Yeah, no, no, go ahead. I understand you perfectly. Go ahead. I asked him, how can you say that? Did you read that the Quran denies everything as, a, and as the Antichrist would do? Yes. And he, he said to me, uh, no, I have not read it, but there are good Muslims and this and that, but they are believing that Jesus did not 
uh, rose from the dead and died on the cross. This is the problem. Yeah. Well, th that's that's not what the Quran says. The Quran actually says that Jesus died. Okay, but how can I uh, say this to my uh, church Christ? And should I change the church because this is not fun for me? No, uh, actually, uh, any you know any Christian who believes that a Muslim, even if you're a Muslim, if if you are the best of the Muslims, you you are going to your work, you are uh, living a good life, you don't hurt anybody, you are uh, giving charity. Still, that won't save you. If you go to the Bible, my friend. If you go to the Bible, it's the Bible is crystal clear. It's you are clear. not, yeah, you are not saved by works. You are saved by grace. God it's gave you the gift of the ultimate gift. Who, who is the ultimate gift? The sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross. So you can be saved without believing that Jesus is God and came to save you. Even if you are the best Muslim, you will not be saved because uh, any Christian church who, who tells you, any Christian who tells you that even if you are, you know, you're a Muslim and you do good work, you will be saved. That Christian is a liar and he's lying to you. So if the priest of that church would tell you that, stop going to the church. That's my advice to you, my friend. I'm not sure what the priest told. What did the priest told you, my friend? The priest, uh, as I, I'm a Croatian guy, but yes. I speak German perfectly, and this is why I meet the Austrian church. Yes, and. I don't know what to say. He seems to me like I'm Christian as from birth. Yeah. And it seems Well, my friend, there is nothing called Christian from birth. No, no, I just yeah. want I, ju I just want to say that uh, um, as a as a baby my parents give me the Yeah, I see. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, you 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 were yeah, I understand. I'm not I'm not a guy that came to Christianity. I love Jesus since I'm a kid and this is my concern yes. because I, it to me it don't seems that he is a, yeah. a a wrong guy or not a good guy, but this what he said, this yeah. doesn't But I have a question. Uh, maybe you can answer my question. What did the priest say about Muslims? I'm interested what your priest that you go to the, the church that you're talking about. When you I went to the, did you ask this question to the priest? Yes, I, I what asked, did the priest say about Muslims? I I want to know before I can give you an advice. What did uh, what did he I say? Asked him, I asked him what he said about this these claims in the Quran, and he told me he don't have read the Quran yes. because he. I don't know what what he said with this, but he said about Muslims. If a yeah. Muslim is good in the heart. And this and this and this and there are good Buddha Buddhists yeah. too, and they don't know nothing about Jesus, but that doesn't mean they will enter hell. This is what they. This no, is what he told me. No, no. The thing is, uh, I, I I agree, but I disagree at the same time. Here is why: God is a merciful God, my friend. Uh, imagine, guys. I hope people are also listening, and I need I need you to focus with me. We are worshippers of a very merciful God. Imagine you are on an island, okay? Somewhere, let's say somewhere in a very far island, you never heard of Jesus, okay? Yeah. You never heard of Jesus. There were no Christian priests or Christian uh, 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 Christians who come to your island to preach about Jesus. You never heard of the name Jesus before. Yeah. Then God is merciful enough to judge you in a different way. Yes, you can be saved because... You never heard of Jesus. God is merciful, right? He will not punish you because you never heard of Jesus. But right. as a Muslim, if let's say you live in the Middle East or maybe you live in Indonesia, you just you heard about the biblical Jesus. That is a different way, right? So That's God gave you the chance to accept his son, right? He gave you the chance to be saved through grace. But when you are living on an island, you never heard of Jesus before. That's a different story. So I agree, but at the same time disagree. So I want this priest that you go to, ask him the same question. Okay. If, if, ask him this question. What about a person who lives on an island? He never heard of the name Jesus. Is he saved? Can he be saved? If he's going to say yes, then he's right. But when he's talking about a Muslim who lives in the Middle East, and he heard about Jesus, the, the biblical Jesus, not the fake version Isa of the Quran. If he heard about him and he never accepted him, that's a different story. So you need to be asking very specific question. If he's going to talk about that guy who lives on an island 
Can he be saved? Yes, he can be saved. But what about the Muslim who lives in the Middle East or Indonesia? So we need to be very specific and very focused what the, your priest is going to answer. So ask him this question. Are you talking about a guy who lives on an island who never heard of Jesus before? Or are you talking about a Muslim who did hear of the biblical Jesus? Okay, brother, thank you. But one one last thing, my he told me I'm like a rebel by asking him questions, yeah. and this is this is not good. He said to me, yeah, that, I, that I'm asking this and that, this and that. No, he said he's wrong. Your is priest this, is wrong. Your priest is all, wrong. Yeah. He said it's all in God's hands, and God knows. That's false. Best. That's false. That's false. He's actually trying to uh, be political correct. I would not stay exactly. a second. I don't want to stay a second with such a priest. A true priest would say, if you are only saved through grace, the Bible is crystal clear. Grace is a gift from God. Who is that gift? It's the good news. It's the angel. Who is that angel? Who is the good news? It's Jesus. You don't accept Jesus, you will never be saved, my friend. But like I said, if you never heard of the name Jesus before, if you never read the Bible and you are living in, in somewhere in a very distant island, that's a different story, right? God is going to judge you in a different way. But if you are a Muslim, you must have heard of the biblical Jesus. Then you will never be saved. Do you, do you understand? Okay, brother. Thank you so much. I'm shaking right, right now. And I have to yeah. I have to tell him this. Also. Yeah, you need to ask him this question. Are you talking? Don't call me. Uh, there's a Muslim who's calling me. I'm a middle in a call, man. Don't call me. So um, you need to I'm be finished. very, yeah. Ask him what I asked you. Okay. Ask him the same question. If there's a guy on an island, never heard of Jesus, I understand it. But what about a Muslim? If he says, if a Muslim live, lives uh, lives a good life and he never hurt a, a somebody and he can be saved, th then he's lying. Okay? Then he's lying because that Muslim will never ever be saved. Okay, brother Rob, I will do this. Thank right, you so friend. much. Okay. Okay. God, God bless you. Bless. Thank you for calling. Bye-bye. You know, you cannot be politically correct. Because Jesus himself was not political. Ahmed Khan, why, you, why do you want to call me again? I hope you got the answer. Hello? Yes, Hello? Ahmed Khan. Okay, answer this verse. 1 Timothy 2 verse 5. I f before I answer this, where did you get this verse from? Did you get it from ahmadida.com or answer no, Christianity? No, don't worry, don't worry. Did you go to the Bible? Did you go to Please the Bible? Please answer this to a fellow Christian if he asks you. Yes. Say, is this verse, fellow Christian is this verse corrupted? Don't say, is this verse no, no, corrupted? I want worry. to prove to me that this verse is corrupted. Christian? Listen, listen, listen. Where did you get the verse from? Are you going to ask him to that? No. Where did you get the verse? Be, be honest once in your life. Where did you find first Timothy? No, you're lying. You never read yeah? the Bible. You never read the Bible. Don't lie to me. Come on, man. Are you going to say that? Did you Philip? actually Did you actually go to the Bible, open up the Bible and read it? Or did you are go you to... to are you going to say that to a fellow Christian? You have doubts. Yes, because a fellow Christian will never go to a Muslim website to learn about the Bible. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. You're a waste of time. Oh, come on, man. First Timothy, brother. Come on, man. Come on, man. You see, you're a Muslim. You never read the Bible. You go to Ahmadidad.com. You go to AnswerInChristianity.com. You go to Muslim websites and you think you, you know about the Bible. Are we doing that to you or are we going to Quran.com? Guys, this is QuranWow.com. I don't go to, uh, let's say, uh, Jesus.com to learn about Islam. No. I don't go to BibleHub.com to learn about Islam. If I want to learn about Islam, I go to Sunnah.com. If I want to learn about the Hadith, I go to QuranWow.com. I go to Quran.com. But you mustn't. Okay, look, at, for example, this is Quran.com. I don't go to the, to, to the Bible to learn about Islam. And this is why you Muslims are not fair. You are actually agents of Satan. You go to fake websites, right? Islamic website, and you think you can teach us our Bible? Get lost, man. Get lost. Why are you wasting my time, man? Be at least fair. Be cons consistent, Muslims. Right? No, Muslim Abdullah. Listen, Abdul, Abdul. You can't even answer to me. Where did you got this 
biblical verse from? You are too afraid to even answer me. I asked you a question. Where did you read this verse? You're not going to tell me you open up, actually open up the Bible and found it. No, you go to your Islamic website and you think that you know about the Bible. It's not working with me, my friend. I'm not going to waste my time more than this than I already did today with you. You want to learn about Christianity? Go to BibleHop.com. Go to BibleGateway.com or go to a church. They will be glad to give you a real Bible, not your fake out of context viruses that you Muslims post on your websites. You want to talk to me? Show me and tell me where you got the verse from. All right? Be at least fair. Do as we do. Go to Quran.com. Go to BibleHub.com. Go to BibleWay.com or open up the Bible. Then we can talk as sincere people. Right? Why are you Muslims so... Why? Ah, I know, because you are agents of Satan, right? This is why you can't be fair like we do. Did you see me guys go to, uh, let's say, Christianprince.com to learn about Islam? No. I go to the Quran. This is Quran.com. Right? And I read it as it is. Let us go to the Quran, guys. This is chapter 3, verse 49. Chapter 3, Surah Ali Amran, verse 49. And I'm not going to read what is between brackets. And a messenger to the children of Israel, the Bani Israel. Indeed, I have come to you with a sign from your Lord, in that I design for you from clay, like the form of a bird. So here, Jesus is saying, guys, I am making from clay life. He's creating life from clay. Does this sound like a mere man, guys? Thank you for the donations, Carrie Ann. God bless you. Um, God bless your family. Carrie Ann says, keep up the good work, Rob. Glad to see you back. God bless your family. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. God bless you. God bless your families. So Jesus is saying, I am creating life from clay, right? He's creating life from clay and he's making a bird then jesus breathes into it and becomes a bird by permission of allah wait a second does this sound like a normal man, a person to you when you take clay and you make a bird looking and you breathe into it will it come to life did muhammad had these attributes of a life giver like muhammad like jesus certainly not why? You call Muhammad the best of all prophets, the number one prophet. Why didn't Allah give these attributes that Allah has? Why is Allah sharing his divine attributes with the Islamic Isa? Why? Why is only Isa curing the blind? Right? He cures the blind and he cures the leper, the sick ones, and he gives life to the dead. Last time I checked, Allah, according to Islam, is the only life giver. How did Allah share his divine attributes, his divine things with Isa? Why? Why? And not only that, Jesus is all-knowing. Right, guys? And I, Isa... Jesus, that's what they claim, it's Jesus. And I inform you of what you eat and what you store in your houses. So clearly Jesus has the power of the, over the unseen, right? Did Muhammad has this power? No. Why did Jesus have that Muslims? Why only Jesus? Why is Jesus... Is all knowing. He can see what you have in your houses. And he can tell you what you eat. <laughs> Why did Muhammad not receive these divine attributes? Hmm. Clearly, there's nothing fishy going on in here. Yeah, uh, Pierce uh, Taylor, Isa is Isa, yes. We believe actually that Muhammad confused the brother of Jacob 
Esau with Isa, with Jesus, right? So Esau, the brother of Jacob, right? Esau, the brother of Jacob, Muhammad confused him with Isa, right? Like he confused Mary, the daughter of Imram, the sister of Aaron and Moses with the mother of Jesus. Historical errors over and over and over in the Quran. Exactly. How, how is Jesus all-knowing? How does he know what you have in your houses what, and what you eat? Well, Muhammad didn't know. Muhammad said only Allah knows the unseen. Only Allah can see the unseen. Well, clearly Jesus is like Allah. Jesus can give life to death. Jesus can create life. And didn't Quran say, Tabarakallah, Ahsanul Khaliqi. Blessed be Allah, the best of creators. Clearly, Allah was talking about Jesus who can create life. Right? Clearly, Allah is the same guy like Jesus, equal with Jesus, right? Like mentioned in chapter 9, ayah 31. Who are the lords? Who are the gods? Allah and the Messiah. And, and Allah is the best of creators. How many creators do you have in Islam? Many. Clearly, Jesus is a creator too. Jesus knows the unseen and he can, he is actually omniscient, right? All knowing. He can give life. He can give life to the dead people. He can cure the blind and the leper. Why didn't Muhammad do that? Why is Jesus having the divine attributes of God in Islam? It says by the permission of Allah. But why? Abdul, why did Allah give him this permission? Why didn't he give the permission to Muhammad? You say Muhammad is the number one guy. Why did it Allah not give any miracles to Muhammad? The Quran actually calls Muhammad only but a warner. Muhammad did not receive any miracles. Why? Stop deceiving brother. But why? Why is Allah sharing his divine attributes with Jesus? Tell me. I'm interested. Why did Allah not give his divine attributes to Muhammad? Why? And clearly there are many creators like Allah. Tabarakallah ahsan al-khaliqeen. Khaliqeen, creators. The best of creators. So there are more than one creators in Islam. Alright? But we know actually about that verse, guys. You remember Abi Ibn Abi Sarh? You remember him? Ibn Abi Sarh? Guys, the scribe of Muhammad, when Muhammad was telling him to write it down, then this guy, Ibn Abi Sarh, said, Tabarak Allah Ahsan al Khaliqin. And Muhammad told him, Yes, yes, yes. This is how the way Jibreel sent it to me. So he started to write it down. And this guy, this Ibn Abi Sarh said, Hey, if I can fabricate parts of the Quran, then I can be a prophet like Muhammad. Right? Ibn Abi Sarh. Right? He says, if I can create and fabricate Quran, then means I'm a prophet like Muhammad. He said, he said to him, write it down like it is, right? And then when Muhammad find out that this guy left Islam, so this guy left Islam because he knew Muhammad is a scam, right? He is a scam, he left Islam and Muhammad ordered them to kill him, right? It's Daif, brother. <laughs> Any Muslim? 
If this guy can fabricate Quranic ayahs like Muhammad, that means there are many prophets in Islam. This guy can be a prophet like Muhammad too. Muhammad, every time he hears something, he make it Quran. He hears something from the Jews, he make it Quran. He hears something from Omar, right? Remember the hadith where Omar is saying, Allah, listen to me. Clearly, Omar is also a prophet in Islam. How many prophets in Islam do you have? How many gods in Islam do you have? Yeah, Mr. Arun is saying, Adam was creation, but Jesus was creator. Worship the creator, yes, because Jesus is creator and he's life giver, right? He can cure the blind. Have you ever, anyone see, give life to the death? Have you ever, ever anyone see, form clay and then give it life except Jesus? No. And you can't even prove to me that Allah in the Quran says be, and it was. Show me when Allah is creating anything in the Quran, saying be, and it was. I challenge you. I'll give you a thousand dollars if you can show me one ayah where Allah say be and then something is created. I challenge you. I triple challenge you. I double challenge you. Show me where Allah is saying kun fayakun before he starts creation. Uh, Tippy Bear, no, actually my voice is gone. And we are live for a long time now. My, I'm out of water and my voice is gone. This is one. We had many callers today. My voice is gone. This is why I sound like this. I'm not sick. How are you, uh, Tipi? God bless you. Kif halak? Well, I'm I'm good. Kif halki inti, Tipi Bear. How is your Arabic? <laughs> Do we have any Muslim? Yeah, drink water. Yeah, I, I, guys, I think I want to wrap this up because I think we are out of Muslims. Uh, did I... Uh, receive any other or missed calls no I think we called everyone back Ahmed Khan if you're going to talk about a different verse I'm going to not pick up your phone the phone anymore okay Ahmed Khan Ahmed Khan listen listen First Timothy listen, no, 2 listen, 5. Listen, if listen, you, 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 If you, if listen, you really listen. believe in Why you. did, no, 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 you, you, listen. Okay, okay. I came to ask you a question. Listen, you have asked me a couple of Do questions. You, really you never you answered, believe? you never answered one of my questions, but that's okay. You're a Muslim. You, you Muslim never ask a question. So, you want to chapter believe, three, so? listen, listen, chapter three, ayah 49. Why okay. did Allah share his divine attributes with Jesus? How? A life giver, creating life, healing Wait, the blind. Knowing what is in your house is stored in your houses. Why did Muhammad says, not have that? By permission of Allah. Why? You liar. You why? I'm, listen, listen, listen. Before you come, go there. Okay. Why did Allah not share his divine attributes with anyone? Doesn't say by permission. Didn't I don't Moses. care. I don't care. Why did Muhammad why, not why receive this? Why can't Jesus split what? the Red Sea? You, which, why what? can't Jesus split? Listen, listen. listen. I, he can everything. He can every, he do everything. Okay. He's got. Listen, listen. That's a dumb why? question. No, you are, you are a stupid uh, Abdul, and here is why. You can tell me why Muhammad did not receive these divine attributes. Why? Doesn't Go say ahead. permission. Why didn't Allah share his divine attributes as he shared it with with, uh, with Jesus? Why didn't he share it with Muhammad? What does it say, permission? I'm waiting. Why did Allah not share his divine attributes like he Every shared it with Jesus, prophet, why didn't he uh, share it with Muhammad? Go ahead. Every prophet has their own miracles. Okay, show me the miracle of Muhammad. Did Muhammad do any miracle? of the moon. What well, doesn't say in the Quran. Uh, no. The splitting of the no. moon. No, the Quran does not yes. say Muhammad. Yes. I, okay, okay, give me the ayah. 
Okay, okay, okay. And I will show you that Muhammad is nothing but a warner according to your Quran. Allah clearly said he refrained from giving Muhammad miracles. Can, can, can warners give miracles? Are you rejecting the Quranic ayah where it says that Allah refrained from giving miracles to Muhammad? Let me show you. Let me show did you. Allah the lie? Ayah. Did Allah lie? Let me show you. Okay. Let me show you the ayah. Why, no, why no. I'm asking you. Did Allah lie when He said He refrained from giving miracles to Muhammad? Did okay. Allah lie? Okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Answer wait. the question, please. What are you talking about? Where does Answer it say we my... refrain you? Where does it say we refrain you? Okay. Where just does it say we refrain you. Okay. It just says Warner. That's all. It never said you can't have it. Okay. Just a second. Chapter 54, verse 1, just a second. miracle. Just a second. Go on then. Okay, just a second. We refrain. Just a second. Let me go to the ayah. Where is it then? Just a second, Abdul. I'm looking for it. Patience. Okay. Okay, then. Chapter 2. Chapter 2. Yeah. Surat al-Baqarah. Okay. 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 Well, uh, well actually, let, let me make it easier. Just a second. Go read it then. No, no, read wait. the same thing. Yeah, we'll we'll read there. Just a second. I'm I'm going to make it even more clear, because that one was I read, read it. Read the same thing. Just a second, Abdul. Okay, Just, give me chapter. Your verse. Okay, chapter six. Chapter six. Yeah. Read it. Chapter six, ayah thirty-seven. Read it. Okay. Chapter six, ayah thirty-seven. Mm -hmm. Nah, wait. I'm, I'm good. Is Allah lying here? Okay, let me see. They say, why has a sign not been sent to him from his Lord? Does it say we refrain to send you miracles? Does it say, they are saying, okay, it's an accusation. Continue reading, continue reading. It's an accusation. Continue reading. There is no creature on the earth or bird that flies with its wing except communities like we have not neglected the register a thing. Then on to their Lord, they will be gathered. Well, okay, what's your, where's your, where does it say we refrain? It says, and they said, why has no sign be sent down upon they him? They accused from the, him. Say, indeed, Allah is able to send down a sign. He is able. Now, okay, where does it then, say we refrain? We refrain to send you miracles. Where does it say that? It says they accused him at a specific time. They accused him. Why? Where, where, where is it? Show us. Where does it say we refrain from now on? We refrain. You have no answer. Just a second, Abdul. You see, you're no, deception. No, 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 no. I'm not deceiving anyone. You have no answer, Fab. Okay. Just a second. No problem. You, no, no problem. Yeah, yeah. I'm a deceiver. I'm a deceiver like you, Allah. I am. I am Khairul Makarin like your Allah. Okay. Just a second. Here is another ayah to make it even okay. more clear. Okay. The disbelievers. Chapter 13, Surat al rad chapter 13, ayah 7. The disbelievers say, Why is not a sign sent down upon him? Who? Muhammad. Verse what? From his 13, verse what? 7. Okay, thank you. Why is not a sign sent down upon him? Who? Muhammad. From his Lord. You are purely a herald of warning and a guide for only. So you are nothing but a warner. Where does it say a warner cannot have miracles? What does a warner mean? Can you can you tell me what a warner means? A warner is someone giving warnings. He's he's warning you. Okay. What does that mean? Where does it say you have not? So a warner you, you is only getting... someone who's telling you about God, right? He's only giving you the message about God. Does that not mean that he is listen, refraining? Listen. From sending him a sign. You are always. The, the, uh, the, listen, listen, no, Abdul, Abdul. No, listen, listen, you it's can't clear. Twist, you Why can't is listen. not a sign sent upon him, Lord? It's clear. The proof listen. is in front of you. Listen, listen. Why listen. are you rejecting your Quran? Listen. The miracle you are not, you are of the a moon. Pure, listen, you are pure. You are nothing but a. 
Who was the moon splitting for this? You tell me. Give me the ayah. Give, give me the ayah. Give me the ayah. Give me the ayah. It does not say. Okay. 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 Wait then. Okay. Guys, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. The ayah is rejecting his Quran. It, the Quran is clear. It says you're only. Wherever, it, listen. You're and only, those, it doesn't say we're listen, not Abdul, giving you Listen, Abdul, don't waste my time. It says those you're who You're just lying. You're blatantly lying. Uh, why are you calling a lie, you donkey son of a donkey? The ayah is clear. Uh, come on. You have to it swear. says you, chapter you 13, no ayah 7. No, 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 no. You are rejecting your Quran. And everyone is laughing. It says, and those who okay, disbelieve okay, 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 say, okay, okay, okay. Wherever, I'll, wherefore, I'll listen, let me read. Wherefore is no besides send down you unto him from his Lord. Thou are but you are thou art but a warner. Thank you. You are Why only, can't I wanna, you only Why can't I wanna give miracles? Because what? you're a donkey and you are rejecting the Quran. It says you are nothing but a warner. The ayah is clear. You did not get any signs because you're nothing but a warner. Only a warner. You are a deceiver. You, no, I'm not a deceiver. Like your God, I can read. You clearly cannot read. You cannot read the Quran in Arabic. You cannot even read the Quran in English. And you call me a deceiver. <laughs> the ayah is clear. Everyone can read it. And those who disbelieve. Right? The ones who do not believe. Say... Where, wherefore is not a sign sent down to him, to who? To Muhammad, from his Lord. Why did he not receive any miracles? A sign is a miracle, right guys? Thou art but a warner. You're nothing but a warner. You're only a warner. This is you. Did, why you did not receive any miracles. And you're going to tell me that Allah is lying? Guys, he loves to call his Allah a liar. Are you even a Muslim man? Are you even a real Muslim? I can show you tons of videos of Muslim scholars who say, if you say that Muhammad received miracles, you're actually calling Allah a liar. Muhammad did not receive any miracles. The only so-called miracle in Islam is the Quran, right? According to Muslim scholars who know the Quran better than you, if you say that Muhammad received miracles, Accept the Quran, you're a liar. You're not even a real Muslim. You're actually calling Muhammad and you're calling Allah liars. And my voice is gone, guys. My voice, my voice is completely gone. Three hours, we are live. Of course, my voice is going to go away, right? <clears throat> yeah, I know. So you see, guys, Muslims cannot have a cake and eat it too. You're going to call Allah a liar. Allah is here in the Quran. I know it's Muhammad talking, but you know, let us be politically correct for a second. Muhammad's Allah is clearly crystal clear. He is crystal clear. He refrained from sending signs because Muhammad is nothing but a warner. He came to warn. He didn't come to do miracles. He came to only warn people. This is why Allah did not give him any signs. If you cannot read your own Quran and understand it, that's not my problem. That's not my business. It's your problem. You are calling Muhammad. You're calling Allah liars. <clears throat> I know a uh, devil chaser. You see, guys, he just called Allah liar. You're out of Islam, my friend. And no, the Quran does not say that Muhammad split the moon. I challenge you to show me that. <clears throat> okay, let us go there, guys. Before we wrap this up, up guys, and He, this is the ayah that he's talking about. Surah Al-Qamar, the chapter of the moon, right? Surah Al-Qamar, chapter 54, ayah 1. The hour had drawn nigh. This is a really... Can we get an, a more easier one? Let's see this one. Translation, man. The hour has drawn nigh, the moon has split. I challenge you to show me where Muhammad is the one splitting the moon. 
and is talking about the last hour. Muhammad died 1400 years ago, guys, right? Muhammad died 1400 years ago, and the hour is still not near. What are near? That means judgment day must, must have been already happened by now, right, guys? So this is talking about the last hour. The hour has drawn near. The moon is split. Who is the one, the one doing the splitting? Allah, right? Not Muhammad. Where does it say that Muhammad split the moon? You filthy liar. You agent of Satan. Yeah, the end. Exactly. This is talking about judgment day, guys. The judgment day, the final hour has come near, has come to an end. The moon is split. Where does it say Muhammad? It's talking about judgment day, you filthy liar. Shame on you, man. And yes, Muhammad had no miracles. Exactly, uh, Tippi Bear. Let me go to the ayah before we wrap this up. Allah is clearly saying, we have sent down miracles or signs, right? But that the ancients one, the, the, the old people, right? The pe people back then, Call them lies. Do you see it? And we brought Tamud, the Shikam were visible, but they did her wrong. So, and we did not send the signs except the frightened. So from that moment on, Allah stopped sending signs because people didn't accept them. So this is why Muhammad became only a warner. Muhammad didn't receive any miracles and clearly Muhammad did not split the moon. Sorry, where's the eye again? Clearly, Muhammad did not split the moon. Allah will split the moon when judgment day will come. And how is it close to an end? We are 1400 years later and still judgment day did not happen. Clearly, this is a false prophecy. Muhammad is a liar, a fake prophet, a scam. Does it say Muhammad is the one doing splitting? No. It's talking about judgment day. Muhammad died 1400 years ago. He is rotting in his grave. And still the moon did not split. This is talking about judgment day. You liar. Judgment day. Filthy, disgusting agent of Satan. That's what you are. Muhammad uh, did miracles. Huh? You filthy liar. And you called Allah a liar. How dare you to call Allah a liar and call yourself a Muslim? All right? Chapter 13, Ayah 7, as we showed you, Muhammad is nothing but a mere warner. Only, thou art only a warner. That means you are out of miracles. You didn't receive miracles. You only came to warn people. Donkey. No, I'm not going to pick up the call again. This guy is a liar and a deceiver like his prophet. He doesn't know his Quran. He doesn't know that Allah did not give any miracles to Muhammad. And you want to teach me my own Bible? You want to go to biblical verses and teach me my own Bible? While at the same time you don't know your own Quran? What a shame. Guys, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button. Destroy it. And click on the notification bell to receive notifications. My voice is gone, guys. Sorry. We have to wrap this up. Today we showed you and we refuted the Muslim common objections, right? We refuted them one by one. Hopefully, in our next live show, we will go to the contradictions in the Quran and Sunnah. Because that's the second vote. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support, day in, day out. Muhammad is a scam. Muhammad did not receive any miracles. Clearly, Allah, for Allah, Isa was more important than Muhammad. Allah shared his divine attributes with Jesus, who they call Isa, but he forgot to share his divine attributes with Muhammad. Why is that? Clearly, there's nothing fishy going on here, right, uh, Muslims? Guys, thank you for watching. God bless you. Jesus is Lord. 
Every knee will bow and proclaim that he is Lord. Including your knees, Muslims. It's never too late to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Please come back home to Jesus and drop Muhammad. Denounce him. The fake scam. Lying sex cult leader Muhammad. And come back home to Jesus. Thank you for watching. And may Jesus bless all you and your families and loved ones. God bless.